Hello, why is my face not moving? Um, um, why? I'm a Toasty Wosy Roaster. Hold on. All right. Where? Oh, no. Oh, no. You can see all that stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. I won't disappear for a moment. <laughs> I totally forgot to turn this on. I forgot to turn on the face tracking. How could I? <laughs> all right. There we go. There we go. I'm back. Kompanwa. I'm a Toasty Wosy Roaster who roasts the host make Toasty Roasts. In goes bread. Out pops toast. That's how toast roast. Hello, breadcrumbs. I didn't start up my game yet, so we get to look at my beautiful beach instead. Compound Wapimo had ink stale bread. Oh yeah, Fumo had. I saw your drawing of like Luna on Twitter on the RK art. Yeah, you have a very you have a very nice style. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Fez. Alright, let me tell you a bit about Fez. Let me start up Fez first. Hello? Game Doko. Alright, I'm sure it'll show up on the stream. There we go. Hello, this is Fez. So, for those of you who don't know what Fez is, Fez is a game from... Well, first of all, it's in, you know, Toaster's Game Collection, which means it's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, this game came out in, what, 2012? I think it came out in 2012, yeah. So I heard about the game maybe like half a year before Fez came out. And um, I was like super excited for it and stuff, you know, cause it has, it was like, it had like a really cool trailer and concept and visuals and stuff. It has this like kind of wireframey, but also pixel for, uh, aesthetic at the same time. You guys will see once I start the game. And what else? It has cool dimensional mechanics, which we will see very shortly, but Anyways, I got this game. Uh, I think it came out for consoles first. It was either Xbox or PlayStation. I can't remember which, but I got it on one of those platforms. And then I played it, you know, on the release day. And it's a puzzle platformer, so I had to go through like two or three full pages of a notebook writing down notes to figure out how all the puzzles worked and stuff. And that was a very fun, that was a very fun game to solve on my own from the beginning. This time around is probably gonna be the fourth or fifth time I'm doing a playthrough of the game. I just love the game so much that despite the fact that it's a puzzle game, I just like the aesthetics so much that I keep playing it despite the fact that it's a puzzle game, you know? So that should say a bit about how much I like the game. Um, so when the game came out, there was actually a little bit of controversy surrounding the creator of the game, uh, the director, Phil Fish. It was very unfortunate, actually, because I think, I don't remember exactly what happened, but he tweeted some stuff and then some people replied to him and then he didn't handle it very well. He was not very good at handling himself on social media. And as a result of this, he basically got cancelled. He got cancelled, and that took down the reputation of the game with him, which is very unfortunate considering that the game's rep the game itself really doesn't have anything that's like has anything to do with Phil Fish at all. And it doesn't have anything to do with the controversy at all. So I do find it kind of unfortunate that right when the game came out, its reputation was instantly tainted by Phil Fish saying stupid things. So darn you, Phil Fish, for making this game not as popular as it could have been. But yeah, I think people got over it after a few years, and now there's like a cult following for the game, at least. I mean, there's no more content, so of course the cult following is just going to get smaller and smaller, but there's a small group of people out there who really like this game, I'm sure. All right, before we start, there's something I need to check in my settings, actually. Is this fine? Yeah, okay. My volume's fine, right? All right, all right, let's start. Right, I don't have any saves on this PC yet. Start new game. How much of the plot do I remember? Inside the sea of pixels, there is a house. And here we are, the main character. Guess what his name is? Not Fez, it's Gomez. Hello Gomez, how are you doing? He has a cool drum set. Wait, where are the controls? Oh, space is jump, okay. He has a cool drum set and a nice house. Oh, 
Hello, old man with the eye patch. What you got there? Nice piece of mail for me. Punk. 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 Man, what an inefficient mail system. <laughs> Marshmallow man. I guess they do look like marshmallows. <laughs> Left control. Okay. Dear Gomez, please meet me at the top of the village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. Giza. I can't believe I actually remembered Gomez's name correctly. Pfft. You know, it's a it's a 2D platformer. We got our nice little 2D village here. Got all the people living around living in it, you know. I think you can talk to these guys. What's your favorite shape? Mine is square, not cube, that's for sure, because there is no such thing. Yeah, these guys, they live in a 2D world, so they don't know what cubes are. Gomez! Gomez! Hi, Gomez! Okay, no, I want to talk to the other guy. I could run around all day. In fact, I will. Okay, children. All right, let's go talk to the old man and see what he has to say. I love village. I lived here my whole life. She lived there her whole life. Reality is perception. Perception is subjective. I think this guy up here is a mayor. Wait, how do I get up this thing again? All right, like this. Hello, mayor. You're looking nice and flat today. Why, yes, I am a toaster. I am very flat today for sure. Oh, wait, hold on. All right. Imagine if there was a toaster that was not flat. That'd be kind of weird. Hello, geezer. What would you like to talk about? Today is special day. Adventure is ready. It's Gomez time. Any time now. Yes, you what? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening? What is this? Q, Um... Uh, hello, Scary Cube. What what would you like to talk about? Um, that's very nice. Okay. Sh sure. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> He is going to show me the world. It's actually three dimensional. I have seen the truth of the world. And to mark the occasion, my head shall be graced. With a cube of its own. This fez shall mark my head as proof that I have understood the world that the world is 3D. <laughs> Gomez is just like, heck yeah. Use A and D to change your perspective. Hold on, hold on. I gotta put on my fez now. <laughs> Wait, it's locked. Where's the fez? Let me move it. <laughs> yeah, we got the fez. Let's go. We 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 won the game, guys. We got the thing that's in the title of the game. I'm just kidding. Use A and D to change your perspective. Hmm, you're spinning a bit faster. Uh oh. Well, that doesn't seem good at all. That cube exploding is actually glitching out all of reality.
I think I broke the simulation, guys. This hat always reminds me of the monkey from Aladdin. Well, that's because it probably is the same hat. <laughs> oh no, the simulation showed me how to look in 3D and then I broke the simulation. Come on, why troll any? Because Aladdin takes place in... You know... What is it? Hey, where... Where does it take place? Ar Arabian Nights? Ar Arabia? And you know, Arabia, I think the Fez hat is also from that area as well. It's from some Iberian nation, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Nothing seems to have happened. But wait, what's this? I have the Fez hat. I can rotate. Whoa. Everything is actually 3D all along. We have been living in a lie this whole time. Hello, annoying cute Tesseract fairy. This is this, that little floating thing. That's that's the annoying fairy that tells you what to do. <laughs> I think his name is its name is the Tesseract or something because, you know, it's a Tesseract. Hello. Gomez, something went wrong. I need your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. Oh, okay. It's Navi now. No, his name is Dot. The hexahedron has been fragmented, shattered and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. A great secret has been revealed to you, Kompawa Sharky. There is a world beyond your village and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. Yes, like the third dimension. And this door leads to the outside world, but for now it's still shut. The markings on it indicates that it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. Cube, cube, cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. Only 32? I thought I needed 64, you dumb dot. But first, you must leave this place. <gasps> there are eight cube bits in this village, like the one right here. Together, they'll form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them. Cube, cube, cube. Oh my god, it all goes full circle. I just like games with cubes in them. What the heck? I never realized this. So, quick recap. Shiny golden cubes, very important, gotta find them all, or else the universe collapses with you in it. No pressure. And remember, use DNA to change your perspective. Now get going! Thank you, Dot. Hello. I saw a devil square! <laughs> you mean a cube? <laughs> Where did you go? Did you bring me back something? No, I didn't. I brought myself this fez. It looks nice, doesn't it? Nice hat. Thank you. All right, let's check inside this building. Gotta find those cute bits. Uh, yes, bit. Got something to say to me? Rotate. Oh, secret passage. Wait. Ah, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. A treasure chest. To open it, face it from the front and press left control. Come on, watch us see what could be in the chest. Oh, a key. You have found the key. Keys can open any locked door, but can only be used once. Yeah, so you see how like this passageway is actually all the way through here, but you know, you just kind of rotate and because of the perspective, you're it's on the other side. Bet! Isn't black magic awesome? Ah oh, yes, the creepy owls. Let's not forget about those guys. They're important. Um, I like Swasun. <laughs> you are back! You were gone long time! Do these guys not know English? They speak like cavemen. But they're obviously not cavemen. That was a cube, but that's non-possible. Yeah, it's not impossible. It's non-possible. All right, guys. So the way you play this game is you just go everywhere and rotate mindlessly until you find a way out. Ah, hello, geezer. Look, 
Geezer, he also has a Fez hat. So he's been through the same thing before. It's been so long time. It's your turn now. I'm tired. Plus, there's the eye thing. <laughs> yeah, there's the eye thing, you know? He has a, an eye patch, which means he doesn't have any depth perception, so he can't do 3D shit anymore. <laughs> it's a cycle. Hmm, this painting of an owl seems ominous and important. I wonder why. Oh, right, he has, he has the pictures of all four owls on this. I totally forgot about that. It's okay, I'm sure these random ominous paintings of owls are not important at all. Anyway. Wait, do I only have one cupid right now? What the heck? Alright, there's a building here. There's also one upstairs. I can see the pinging effect. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Interesting. I actually do know what that is for, but I don't remember the way to unlock it. So, um, <laughs> we'll just have to go back to that later once I remember how to unlock it. That's not right. And it goes to the other side of this thing. Or I can just climb up this vine. That works too. Alright, let's check all of the rooms. Da -da 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 -da. Hello? Boing. Hmm. These paintings of people seem kind of strange. Their heads are more square than my head. My head is kind of like a sideways rectangle, but these guys have taller heads. Probably because they have bigger brains and are smarter. Look, the big... Or wait, were the big head guys actually the... I actually don't remember if we evolved two of them or from them. Interesting. This weird room that is not accessible to anyone from this village because they don't know how to do 3D shit. Hello, Mayor. That was really pretty, but don't do it again. I'm sorry, Mayor. Hello, Cupid. All right, that's four out of eight. All oh, right, there's that treasure chest over there. How do I get over there again? Can I jump this? Oh yeah, I can, okay. Was it left control? Left shift? Oh, I have to face it from the front, right? There we go. A treasure chest. To open it, face it from the front and press left control. Okay. Wow, another key. Wait, don't I already have one key? Yeah, I have two keys now. Oh, okay. All oh, right, there's a locked room down there, wasn't there? Let me go to that locked room. Uh, okay, it's over here. Do, 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 do. Hmm, interesting piece of paper you got there. Wow, I got a treasure map. You have found a treasure map. A map of what? To where? I don't know. You're useless. Figure it out yourself. I already know what that map is for, actually. <laughs> I already know what that map is for. Uh, where is it again? Yeah, this thing, this thing. Yeah, I already know what this is for. But, um, <laughs> you guys will see later what it's for. <laughs> hmm. These are some interesting pictures. A skull with three eye sockets? That's definitely not me. That's kind of ominous. And that, this, this is the cube. The cube. What is the cube? We may never know. And there sure are a lot of uh, Tetris pieces. Pictures of Tetris pieces around. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what that could mean. Wait, so the islands are not connected, but connected? They're like floating or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in 3D space, they're connected by this bridge. But if you rotate it... Like, it just looks weird. You know, you can, you can kind of see how, how they're connected in 3D space if I continuously rotate it back and forth like this. <laughs> it's just... It, it just works. It just works. Have I been in here already? Yeah, I have. Ah, oh, shit. Yep. Have I been in here? Let me check. I'm not sure if I've been in this room yet. No, I haven't. Okay, well, there's nothing else to look at here. Let's just get up here. Alright, that's five. We're almost out of here. Have I been in here? Oh god, I can't remember. Ah, yes, this is the room that I don't know anything about. 
Yeah, I definitely don't... Hello. Alright, let's get up here and see. There's one more up there, and then there's probably one more in a room that I haven't found. Oh. <laughs> Look at how derpy the bird is when it walks. <laughs> no, don't go away. I want to look at you walk derpily. I Oh my god, that's always been so funny to me, the way that bird walks. It just goes... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, I've already been here. I need to check all four sides, this is kind of annoying. No, I've already been in both the rooms up here. Alright, let's check this again. Where is the last bit? Oh, here it is, okay. Can it be a new direction? Whoa. Yay, we got a cube piece. You know, you gotta get 32 cube pieces, each of which are made of eight. Wow, this can't possibly take forever. They're even theorizing about the existence of a third dimension here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, P. U, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, let's see. What else is in here? Oh, Pan Hot Cat. Ah, yes, yeah, so we can learn about evolution. They started from little slug things, and then, you know, then they turn into tall head things, and then big head things. And then, now there's us. Narrow-headed simpleton. <laughs> nice digestive system you guys got there. <laughs> Nothing else in this room? All right. You did it! Now you can unseal the door! Let's go! Go. I actually think they grew smaller brains and lost the ability to see the third dimension is what happened. It's really funny the way the worms crawl in this game. Yeah, there's like a worm somewhere, I think. Kompama <laughs> honeycomb. There was actually one room in here with a secret, but I'm not going to spoil the secret to you guys yet. <laughs> we can come back and do it later. <laughs> Let's just go downstairs and take a look at that. Um... Oh shit, I almost fell to my death there. Door. Oh, I love that sound. That's the sound of finishing something in this game. The door is unsealed. Are you ready to begin your adventure? Yes, I am, Dot. Yes, I am. Hey, listen! Shut the fuck up. I know this is your first time outside the village, so if you get lost, you can use the world map. Press escape to bring up the world map. Let's appreciate the music for a moment. I love the music in this game. Wait, is the game volume a bit too quiet for you guys? I can't tell. It might have been too quiet from the beginning. <laughs> the music with the burps walking. Hold on, hold on. Ah, here's the map. Now this is the world map. You know what? Hold on. Let me actually turn the volume up a little bit first. Um, uh... That's weird. I set the volume earlier and it was completely fine, but now it seems to be a bit too quiet. I don't know. And you guys can tell me if it gets too loud later. Now this is the world map it shows you where you've been you can zoom in and out using s and w and rotate with a and d oh the birds i do be like blah, blah, blah. each node represents a place in the world a gold plating on a node means you have found every item secret or passage in that node wow look at how much shit i missed up there now let me use my mouse here nice <laughs> all right so i did visit all the rooms Okay, let's see here. Ah, yes. Well, wow, let's climb this mountain. Or not mountain, the pillar. I really love the music in this game.
yeah it is really pretty isn't it that's actually why i like this game so much like even though it's like you know just like a a pixel game like it's actually one of the most beautiful um um pixel wait what is what is this style called again it's not called pixel but whatever you know they mix like they mix like the pixel stuff with um with like some with some um wireframe effects as well and then they also mix it with some like really high fidelity effects like the cloud shadows and stuff it's such a great play and you see how like this thing is shot out those those wireframes it just looks so cool like that's such a cool effect all right give me the cube yeah and the music is so freaking good yeah <laughs> oh, i love this game so much it's so calming like all right i got my two cubes <laughs> all right i see i should turn down my volume to around here there we go that should be better wow check this place out feels pretty important eh let's have a look around shall we oh no way it's another door i told you there'd be a lot of doors there are a lot of doors in this game this one requires four cubes this one eight and this one 16. this place is like some sort of important door place well, i don't know that's why you're here now go find them cubes Welcome to the door place, guys. The important door place. IDP. <laughs> no, that's not what it's called. Oh, shit. Spoiler, it's a hallway. Right, so I'm actually supposed to go upwards. Not to any of those three ones. But I don't remember. Where's the door for that again? I'm pretty sure it's on the back side. Something like, something like this, I think. Oh, and one more thing. If you press tab, you'll bring up the inventory. The inventory keeps track of the things you find. Okay, now I'm done. I swear. And that's basically actually all the dialogue in this game. <laughs> the, the dialogue is basically all front loaded, so. <laughs> Compound well, crazy Neko, dude. All right, let's go to the next area. PM Fireworks of Love. Thank you for buying the soundtrack. Oh. so pretty so calming like it's all 3d but then when it stops rotating it renders down into like this super beautiful 2d space and if you look closely at all the pixels and stuff you can't see like any artifacts it's just so nice i love it i love it guys haven't seen Res for too long. This is Fez, not Res, but yes, I know what you meant. <laughs> Hello, Bit. Please tell me about this. Behold! A warp gate! But this one isn't working right now. You have to find other gates first, and then they will connect to one another. Yeah, that's a fast travel system in this game. Alright. I totally forgot. In my description, I said that there are... um three important things that one must learn throughout this game so let's um actually write down what those things are first i already know what the things are so so i'm just going to put it here but the things we must learn how to do in this game you see in the upper left corner you can see um you can see what we have to learn okay we have to learn how to count okay we have to learn how to count we have to learn how to play tetris and we have to learn how to look down. I actually forgot that there's four things, so let me put in the fourth thing right now. The fourth thing is um, how to read. <laughs> how to read. So I actually already know how to do all four of these things, but we're gonna pretend that I don't know, and I'll show you guys the way you're supposed to learn these four things, all right? We'll learn, we'll learn these together. We'll learn these together through the way that it's in the, the um, progression that you're intended to learn them in. So you probably remember at the very beginning, the big cube was saying like a bunch of weird stuff. Hmm, look at these symbols on this pillar over here. They seem oddly familiar. They look just like what the big cube was saying. Maybe each one of them corresponds to a letter of the alphabet, but how are we supposed to figure out what corresponds to what? 
I actually think this says warp gate, if I remember correctly. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Well then, I guess we just gotta keep exploring, huh? There's two areas we can go to from here. So one of them is here. Hello, Derpy Frog. Look at how derpy he is. <laughs> to the lighthouse. They feel like Metroidvania gold. Yeah, in a way, but instead of like being equipment, it's like knowledge that you earn, right? And then like learning this knowledge helps you unlock more areas. It's awesome. <laughs> I wonder what that purple pillar over there that looks super suspicious is. Boy, I have no idea. Every animal in this game is so derpy. It's so funny. I love it. <laughs> Can we not jump up this? How do I get up there again? I actually have no idea how to get up there. Oh well. Um. How do you get up this thing? What the heck? I do have an extra key, right? So let's just go in here for now. Hello, chest. All right, was it left control? Yeah, there we go. What could possibly be in here? Oh, a treasure map. Well, I guess we'll look at that later. I have a viral fever, but still watching this. I mean, I'm getting cured by your stream. Well, I hope you're having a nice time resting while watching my stream, Honeycomb. Viral fever? Well, I hope whatever you have, it's not too bad. Oh my God, I'm bad at jumping. All right, let's do that again. Hello? Why am I so bad at this? There we go. I had to grab a ledge grab there. All right. Wait a minute. There's another door over here. Where does this go? And that chest opening, Beejum is very Legend of Zelda. Yeah, the game actually does have a lot of um, Zelda references. And I don't play a lot of Zelda, so I wouldn't really know. But like literally, the little fairy that tells you what you're supposed to do says, Hey, listen. So like, that's obviously a Zelda reference, you know? We're inside the lighthouse right now, guys. Isn't it awesome? Look at the background, it just looks so cool. I love the parallax on it. And there's also this exit. Now we can get to the top of the lighthouse. Hello, top of the lighthouse. Wow, look at all those Tetris pieces in the background. Surely they're not that important, right? Game sure loves its Tetris pieces. Oh, I know what the secret is. It's okay. We can do that later. Okay, what's up here? Nothing on all four of these sides. I guess we just gotta get to the top of this thing. Ah, yes, yeah, the water tower. All right. How do I get over there again? Uh. Oh, I see. I see. I remember. Ah! Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, we can turn this thing. This is a pivot. Push L control on either handle to spin the pivot one way or another. Thank you. D -d 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 in my case, I'm just brain dead because I had to do a test involving all of my college subjects. Well, you're in luck because I'm doing all of the heavy thinking this stream. Because, you know, I've already played this game before, so... Well. Can I just jump up this? I guess not. Wait, how am I supposed to do this again? Oh yeah, I remember now. Okay, 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 okay. So look, we go around from here, okay? We go around from here, and then we just kind of rotate this thing around. And then we just kind of do this, and bam, we're on this side, XD. Look at that black magic. <laughs> this constellation Tetris things. Yeah, they're, they're actually not related. Those Tetris pieces are not related, but um, the Tetris pieces in general are important. Is that everything here? Oh no, there's two rooms that I haven't been to. What? All right, let's go in here. Voodoo magic. Yeah, this game's basically just voodoo magic. Yeah, yeah, I know that's the pivot. You don't have to tell me. All right, let's see here. I have to turn this around 180 degrees. I love that sound. 
Okay. Let's go up this thing. Nope, oh, wait, hold on. I'm behind it. <laughs> yes, cube bit thing, I know. Wow. Well. Alright, one more to get another big cube. Hmm, I wonder what that says. Well, I can't read, so it doesn't matter. Da -da -da -da. Oh wait, that takes me to a completely new, completely new area. Huh, it looks kind of like an abandoned, um, abandoned village of some sort, doesn't it? Very interesting. Hmm. All right, let's check the mini map. Uh, that's where I am. Oh, okay, there's a warp gate here, but it's not activated yet. How to get up this thing again? Oh yeah, these things are annoying. <laughs> they forcibly rotate you. All right, let's see what's in here. This ruined village. Oh, that takes me to there. Great. Well, I guess we're just going to do all the stuff here now. Gotta go up. Gotta go up. Wait. Okay, nothing there. Oh my god, this is annoying. Stops. <laughs> ah! Okay. Up here. And this is a pivot for what? For that? Okay. Let me see. I push it here. That should be good. I can grab this guy over here. Hello. Ding. Yay, we got three cubes now. That's three out of four. Okay, I don't think rotating this thing more will help, will it? I really hope I don't actually have to rotate it more later and I'm just screwing myself over by not doing it now. Ah! Stop rotating, holy shit. Oh, I see. I have to match this one up with the other one so I can run across it. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. watching this instead of doing APCs and other Wait, what is an APC? I actually don't know. Okay, we can climb up this ladder here now. Climb up more like jump slowly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Ah! Hello, Owl! <gasps> the Council of Four? Hexahedron, Octahedron, Dodecahedron. Her sacred geometry. Ooh. That's the spooky sound of something important happening. I'm off now, bye Toaster. Bye Jesse, have a nice day. Let me grab this bit boy. Please bless me. What do you want to be blessed with today? Hmm? Did I bless you with like one lost last time or some crap and then that turned out well, I guess. I don't have a key for this, seriously. There's still bits in this area that I'm missing? Wait, really? Well, if there's no specific thing you want to be blessed with, I know you have a lot of lag, so you've probably just heard what I said. May you be blessed with plausibly deniable delicious meals. <laughs> ah, there's the other bit. Hello. Bing. What happens if I fall here? I just die, right? Yeah, okay, goodbye. I'm stupid. Things just don't work out well for me now. I hope you have. I hope. I hope that things work out better for you in general. That takes me back to the warp area. There's still one more big area that I'm missing that's not through the locked door. Hmm, really? No way. Please stop spinning. Wait, how am I missing another area? It's not just. 
Ouch. That's not just that locked door. Is it on the other side of this thing? Oh, I see it. Ah! Okay, it's this door down here. It almost blended in. I almost didn't see it. Ah, yes, these screw dudes. What was it? Lefty, Lucy, righty, tidy. All right, goodbye, Troll Winnie. Okay, this area has more areas to go to as well. What the heck? I think I need to push both of these so that I can do some weird wall hack. Yeah, okay. Push this. And do this. We're on homework, unfortunate. I do say this a lot, but like focusing on your studies is a really important thing as a student, so please do that. Oh wait, you're taking wait, AP AP is a USA thing. I thought you weren't US based. Interesting. I guess I was wrong, huh? Alright, next area. Let's go. That place I came from, I guess I did get all the bits there already. Hello, flippy dudes. Please stop flipping. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Safe. Wait. Uh huh? How to get up this again? Oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. No! Unfortunate. This is the this is the part of the game that I'm bad at because I'm a shitter who doesn't know how to play platformers. <laughs> let me up, let me up. Patience. I hate that these Okay, there we go, there we go. Seriously? I'm sure I will get up this eventually. Imagine knowing the solution to every puzzle in this game and getting fucked over by some spinny dudes. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. I am a genius. I am a genius. I know how to press buttons. Wait. There's a bit inside of this thing. I need to rotate these. I this, I think. Oh, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Hello, bit. You are mine now. Getting over it with Fez Gomez. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, that was the one thing in this area. Now we can leave. Oh, it's nighttime. How spooky. Okay, there's another sub area. Oh, look at that shooting star. That was pretty. Oh, there it is. Hello. Alright, let's go in here. I actually don't remember what this area is called. I think it's called like the ruins or something. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Why do I have to rotate this for again? Oh right, there's probably an opening. Let me check. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let me just keep rotating this until something shows up. Ah, there it is. There's the opening, but what's the point of that? What's the point of this? I'm sure it'll do something eventually. Right? There's a small gate here. Okay. Wow, look, an entire big cute boy up there. There's also another area after this one, so I'm not going to go back after this immediately. What can I spin this for? Oh my god, it spins the whole thing. Oh, right. There we go. 
Hello, random door. How do I get on top of this? Oh, right, I have to climb in through the indoors. All right, let's go. Inside whatever this building is. Spooky. No, that's not what I meant to do. God, I'm an idiot. Eh, well, whatever. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> alright, I gotta go for the ladder. Alright, 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 alright. Right. Gomez pops out. I totally forgot what these signs say. It probably says like up or something or in or out. I don't remember. Hello. Wow, an entire big cube! Don't even have to go through getting eight little bits. You found four cubes! Now you can open that door we saw earlier. You know, the one just outside of your village. How about no? Okay. Be here. Alright, let's take the work portal. It takes us back to the hub for this sub area just like that easy yeah so every every like sub area has a hub with a warp portal so this is like the ruins hub and then this is the beach hub or whatever you want to call it then in each big area there are um small warp portals that let you t go back to the hub when you're done with like that branch so you know you explore this branch and then you just teleport back to here easy there's also a lot of rooms here that I haven't found yet. There's what, one, two, three, four whole rooms? Alright, guess I gotta go, go look for those. Yeah, this is one of the rooms, huh? Oh my god, that iguana or whatever lizard thing up there looks so funny. Oh man, watch out! Black holes! Black holes are bad! Without the hexahedron, the world is growing unstable! Space can, space can only be folded so many times before it rips! I'm okay. Also, these black holes are also 3D, so if you rotate them weirdly, then it's bad. Hey, look, a shortcut. Um, I guess I don't remember how to open the shortcuts. This little symbol over here, this weird like sideways infinity symbol, is a shortcut symbol. But I think you have to open them from one end first. But that's why I can't. Uh oh, that's not good. Ah yes, yeah. There's another shortcut here, but I guess I haven't found the other end of it yet. Hmm. Okay, let's go in here. A little bit. Boing. Anything else here? Nope, that's it. Oh look, a full cube. Nice. That's five. Five out of 16 already. Nice locker room. Okay, let's see here. Now there are two sub areas. I don't think I've been to this one yet, have I? Let's do this first then. You can see the area that you're going to in the background, like that. <laughs> it's awesome. So awesome. Thank God. Okay, let's see here. Toast stream. Ice. Hi. Hello, Kumpanwa. Wait. I recognize your name, but I don't think you've actually visited my visited my stream before, have you? Wait, have I already been here? No, no, no. This is a different area, right? Of course. Okay. Oh my god! I glitched into the. That didn't happen. Wait, this area has bits, a chest, and another area to go to. All right. Wonk. Whoop. 
Okay, there's there's the bit. So let me get on this thing. Wong. Ah. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That went back to where I came. Wait, wait, am I supposed to... I'm confused. Can I just... How high does this thing boost me? I need to make it to... Uh... God. I need to make it to... This one over here. Yes. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then, if I rotate like this, I should be able to grab these vines when it boosts me. Boing. Then rotate around a bit. There's a bit over there. Mm. Alright, cool. Grab these vines, rotate around. Then we make our way up. Oh. Stop rotating. I guess you could say each of these sub areas has its own gimmick. This area's gimmick is like force rotations and these these annoying little dudes. Holy shit. It actually knocked me off. I didn't think it would do that for some reason. Alright, let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at you, rotating all willy-nilly. You think you're so cool for being able to rotate on your own like piece of machine? Oh my god! I'm very good at this game. Let's just pretend all that never happened. God. Okay. Okay. Yes. Go up this. And then, what is there to find another bit and a chest? Oh, right. Run! Oh, wait, I'm too slow. Well, I just jump over it, that's fine. Hmm, okay. Rotate. Ah! Good question, how much? Zero. Please. I can't chart when I'm drunk, it doesn't work. I should do a drinking stream sometime, actually, now that I think about it. Hong Tang Wa, Alexis. Like, I actually do drink semi-frequently by myself because I'm a loser. Is this Toter role-playing as Toter? Yeah, Gomez's head looks like a freaking Toter, doesn't it? <laughs> wow, another treasure map. Boy, I wonder what that could be. I'll look at it later when I actually need it. Up in the screw we go. You know, I don't think real screws work like this in real life. Like, if you had a bolt on a screw with a handle, I don't think you could actually rotate it like that to make yourself go up. <laughs> but whatever, video game physics, thank you. Those are drinking stream one day. I'm very good at, um... Holding my drink or whatever you want to call it though. So nothing exciting will happen even if I drink it. Look, when I drink, I just get sleepy and boring. So like, I'm not actually sure that would be an interesting stream to be honest. <laughs> All right, into the door we go. Do, 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 do. What's inside this building? Ink has not drank anything more than like one shot of vodka ever. Wow, imagine your first drink ever being vodka. That's hardcore, man. That's some hardcore shit right there. <laughs> I, I imagine you'd be pretty wild when you're drunk though, Ink. Okay, where am I going? Oh, to that ladder over there? All right. Wow, an entire cube. Yay! That's six cubes already, wow. Okay, let's see here. All right, here we go. Wow. Oh, 
that was like the maximum. Everything else is just like five sips of wine or one sip of beer before spitting it out. Beer is disgusting. I'm not really a beer person either. Beer is not that good. And wine can be good depending on how expensive it is. That shot of vodka was also mixed in like the entire can of soda. Oh, so that's just like a cocktail then. That's just a regular cocktail. I call it taste bad and cost too much money and makes sleepy. Okay, so you also get sleepy when you drink it. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I haven't activated any of the other major work gates. Interesting. Okay, there's still one more sub area here that I haven't gotten to, and I'm pretty sure it's downstairs somewhere. And beer's terrible, Re. Are there any beer likers in the chat right now that are going to be like, actually, beer's amazing or something? Nope, not that room. I've already been there. Where is the room I haven't been to yet? Is it really more downstairs? It's not this, because this goes back. Yeah, that goes back to here. There's one more room. There's a door somewhere that I haven't found because I'm blind. Oh my god, please stop doing that to me, game. Eh, some artisanal beers are like fine.jpg. I've I've had some before. I was um, forced to have some before. Okay, so I've already been there. Because the test rack told me about it. I've already been there. And I've probably already been here, huh? Yeah. It all tastes equally bitter and nasty to me. <laughs> well I won't I won't disagree with that. Where am I going? Maybe this? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. This is the area I haven't been to yet. This dot didn't tell me. Oh my god, there's two areas from here? That's annoying. Well, there we get going. Let's go. Oh, that's it? Okay. Go, platform, go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, hold on. Alright, I need to go there. Wait, I don't have a key. Do I have a key? No, I don't. I have zero keys. Unfortunate. Can't go in here yet, then. Where am I supposed to get more keys from? Well, whatever. Let's go here. <laughs> Why did I jump down on this? There's nothing on this. <laughs> I never drank except when I was younger and I woke up on that time searching for a glass of Coca-Cola. But instead it was wine. <laughs> Unfortunate. Nah. I I like normally I drink like whiskey or wine or like umeshu would be the kind of drinks that I like the most. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there's multiple ways onto this thing. I see. Yeah, alcohol is fine. But I, I'm not going to, like, force anyone to drink it or anything. And if you don't like it, so be it. It's not, it's not a necessary part of life to like alcohol. Oh, no, I did the wrong thing. That's not what I was supposed to do. Come on. Go back up already. It's currently moving in the z-axis, so you can't see it um, moving. Okay. Go this way. Gomez is just standing there like, boy, I'm bored. <laughs> Eight shots with toaster. No thanks. I'll fall asleep by like the third or fourth one. <laughs> okay, there's nothing here except for a locked door, so I guess I have no choice but to go into this thing. As a college student, I have to disagree with that statement, sadly worse, if I had a social life well. It depends on the kind of friends you have, though, because... And the college that you go to. Like, the one I went to, people didn't care about drinking it. People wouldn't force their beliefs in drinking onto you, but I went to a fairly classy... college. You know, I went to a, um... an Ivy League, so...
I don't- I think- I think people there are understanding enough at, at my college. What am I doing here? I need to rotate this thing around. Oh no, there's multiple of them. Hold on, I need to rotate this one first. Okay. And I need to rotate this one in order to match this. Then if I rotate like this, then it's a full ladder. Nice. Debates my school's arts and sciences department is filled with people like me, whose definition of a party is uh, a bunch of people studying with snacks. That sounds like a good party. Not only drink grape beer? Grape beer? I've never heard of that before. And wine. It's extremely good. Grape beer? Grape beer is literally just wine, though. So I didn't care enough about the beer to realize what I was drinking, and I heated myself to sleep again. On the day someone asked, who drank the wine that I left on the table? <laughs> and I got me, like, <laughs> scratching back of head while, while sweating. <laughs> I like how Bit aggressively wants to tell me how to use these things every single time, but I already know how to use them. I actually don't remember the first- I used to be like really anti-alcohol when I was in high school. Like I was like extremely anti-alcohol, but then my mind got changed at some point. I actually don't remember- actually I think I was fairly anti-alcohol in- in college too. Like I literally like- not, not just like- it wasn't just like I didn't drink any, I was like actually an anti. I was like, alcohol is evil and bad and it's gonna cause you, and it's like... Okay, mm -hmm. to, to add even more onto that backstory, I used to be... I used to be, um, kind of an antisocial person, like aggressively antisocial, like I would actually go out of my way to be antisocial to people. And hating alcohol was one of my ways of being antisocial. And I was like that all the way through college, even. I was like rebelling against the social norm of drinking alcohol or some crap like that. Hold on, how do I zoom out on the map again? Nah, let me just use my mouse, it's easier. Okay, I don't have a key for this, I don't have a key for that. So I guess I'll just go back and do this, I guess. Let's go. Look at those pipes, just like the pipes I see in a certain rhythm game. Oh, you mean like uh, the pipes in the Windows Pipes Screensaver 2000? <laughs> Late to the discussion, but I drink alcohol mostly in family gatherings. The drinks I usually use as a vehicle for long conversations through the night. Yeah, yeah, that that is how people use alcohol. An edgy toter face? I wasn't edgy, I was a loser. <laughs> uh... I can't really remember, what was the first time I like seriously had a drink? Like, when was the... Yeah, that's a good question. I have to, I'd have to think about that. Okay, let's see here. There's a treasure chest here, right? Yes. Ah, look, this is a shortcut. Wait, it takes me all the way back to the fucking hub? Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> the time hub. Okay, let me go find that treasure chest first. Wait. I wonder if it's one of these guys. Is it? Hold on. I don't know the controls, guys. It's not this one. Not this one. Ah, there we go, it's this one. You see how the silhouette of this thing matched on the bottom left of this? You see how this silhouette matches the thing that we're standing on, right? Am I right? This, this, it is this one, right? Yeah, 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 we're standing on it right now, you see? See how the silhouette's the same? So we take a look at this treasure map over here. Oh my god, that's the wrong button. Okay, and then there's hmm, there's something up over here, but how do we reach it? Well, if we flip this treasure map around, oh look, there seems to be some platforms. Hmm, interesting, interesting. So what if we were to simply 
Pretend that those platforms are there. I'm stupid. Where are the platforms? Hello? Oh, I see. It's this way. No? <clears throat> okay, let me look at that treasure map again. It has to be oriented. Oh, no, it's the thing on the bottom that's oriented to the left. It's the one below this that has to be oriented to the left. So it's when it's rotated like this. Trill platforms. Yeah, they are trills. Okay, I'm going to have to turn myself 180 degrees after this, and then we can get jumping. Okay, 180 degrees, and then they're over here, right? Yeah, there we go. Hey, look. There it is. <laughs> treasure chest, easy. I can't believe we opened a treasure chest to find... What is that? You have found your very first anti cube. For every cube, there is an anti cube. A negative for every positive. Anti cubes are much harder to find than regular cubes. You found eight cubes. Let's go back to that place with all the doors. Anti cube. Yeah, there's 16 cubes and 16 anti cubes. In order to. Ouch. Hmm. Where is the invisible platforms again? This way was it? There we go. In order to get a 200% on this game, you have to find all, all the anti-cubes in addition to all the regular cubes. And there's six, what, 32 of each, I think? 4x4x4 four 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 is 64, yeah. Okay, I think that's everything in this area. Uh... Alright, let's go back here first. Anti-cube, how edgy. It is edgy. Boy, I wonder what secrets we will learn here. What's an anti-cube? It's a cube, but purple instead of gold. That didn't happen. Alright, let's check these in order. This is... That area is like the time hub. Because... Where are we? The beginning of civilization, when people were still tall-headed. You guys remember seeing this at the really beginning of the game in the evolution whiteboard? This is the beginning of civilization. Primal, tall-headed, single-eyed dudes. Hi Toaster, what's with the things to learn in the top left? These are the things that we must learn in this game in order to make progress in the game. Because I've already played this game before. <laughs> <laughs> I've already played this game before, so I know like the four main secrets of the game. The four main secrets are those things. How to count, how to play Tetris, how to look down, and how to read. And every time you discover one of these secrets in the game, um, you are able to unlock a lot more puzzles, basically. Or to be more accurate, they are the solutions to the puzzles, like learning how to read and stuff. There's also a bit up here, what the heck? What the hecky? ranges of difficulties oh you mean on the doors no that's just the number of cubes you have to get in order to open the doors what else is here oh there's five rooms to check okay well i guess we'll check them from the top down how unfortunate oh my god i can't even rotate in this room omg is that the toter from arccraft yeah, it's me. It's me. Toter from... Toter from, um... Toter, Toter from Arkcraft. <laughs> Alright, can we rotate this room? Wait, why can't I rotate these rooms? Is it because... Is it because the primitive... The primitive... Bezians... Bezans... Were not capable of building rotating rooms? Maybe. Okay, that's two of the rooms. There's three more. Okay, one of them's down here and one of them's to the left. I see all five rooms. Right, because 
yeah the one-eyed primitive pheasants didn't know anything about even like a third a 2.5 dimension they only knew like 2d basically no depth perception exactly exactly that's why their entire town is only built in a 2d space because they just can't even like mentally conceptualize the third dimension or something like that okay that room had nothing and then this room look at them they praised the owls i wonder hmm owls where where did we see that before there were four paintings of owls i talked to an owl who said some edgy things about a hexahedron i wonder why they were um praying to the owls so much The guy in game looks like the odd one's out. I don't know who that is, but I guess that means the odd one's out has a wide rectangular head. Is that what you're saying? Hello, caterpillar. Look at how funny he is. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> okay. All right. That's everything here. Oh, look, we got more lore. Let's see. Yeah, they cooked. They fight some things, you know, and then they cooked it. Nice. It would be... Very spooky if we met that thing later and had to fight it. I'm just kidding. You don't actually meet that thing later. <laughs> That'd be really cool if it did, though. I think someone in chat said that um, the rectangular head of the character Gomez looks like my head. Or even looks like a toaster. It's me. Okay, let's go in here. So this is the place you unlock with eight cubes. And... It is, of course, civilization from another point in time. Is this... A time when electricity was a known thing. The world's glitching out a little bit, uh, but let's not worry ourselves with that too much. Bon Pangwa Pasta. This is a nice place, except for the flickering background. All right, let's see how much stuff we have to look for here. There's five rooms. Wait, did you find the caterpillar? I saw a caterpillar in one of the rooms. It was very funny. He wiggled around a lot. <laughs> Ding. Nice shower room. All right. Look, there's a Polytron logo. The logo of the studio that made it. <laughs> Of that made this game. Huh, I wonder what this thing is. Look at all these Tetris pieces. They're teaching people about the Tetris pieces. But what could the Tetris pieces possibly mean? Ah, yes, a world map, of course. And then they also knew about the hexahedron, very important. Hm. Looks like we'll have to come back here when we know what the Tetris pieces mean. And when we know how to count. I'm actually trying to remember where the heck you learn how to count in this game right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, look, they worshipped the Fez. These were the tall head guys back when they were still smart and had a brain. Every animal in this game looks like they're vibing. Alright, nothing important in here, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay. And check this room. Hello. Doing. Is that all that's in here? I guess it is. Yeah, alright. There's one more room I need to find. The goal of all life is to vibe. Yeah. That's why I make rhythm games. I make rhythm games because people can vibe to them. My charts are all about vibing, if you guys didn't know. Well, some of them are all about vibing. There, then there's the other ones. <laughs> hmm, what's in here? A boiler? Is that it? Wait, really? I actually am having trouble real believing that some of these rooms actually have nothing in them. But I guess they really don't. I feel like there's supposed to be more. Well, we didn't learn anything at all. Unfortunate. Sometimes you just vibe too hard. 
If you you gotta vibe fast, die young, you know? Vibe fast, die young. Is that everything there? Except for that one secret that I definitely already know how to solve, but I'm just not doing it because it would not be exciting. Alright. Well, back to the back to the lighthouse area. Go. Or we can take this secret. The faster you vibe, the faster you die. This is true. I'm sure I've said this quite a few times before, but like I always feel like I'm burning my I burn my I've burnt a lot of my life force in order to make Archaea a great thing. Holy shit, I'm stupid. <laughs> Like, I've put myself through so much stress in the process of working on things in Archaea that I really feel like I lowered my mental lifespan because of that. So that's part of why I hope everyone really likes Archaea and the things that we make for it, because I've definitely made a lot of personal sacrifices for it. No, now that you mention it, there are a lot of animals in this in this game. Like, every area has so many of these animals. It just makes them so much livelier. It's nice. Seriously? <laughs> Alright, there was a door here somewhere, right? Because there's, there's another area if we look at the map. But where is the door for it? Oh, it's over there. I see it. I'm going to have to rotate this thing. And there's the passageway. But how do I get back up there? Oh wait, I can climb up these vines on the side. Right. No, can I not? Oh, I can go from the back. Okay. There we go. Then all I have to do is this. Nice. Wall hacks. No, that's where I came from. What the? Wait, but then where's the... Where's the area I haven't been to? It's a minor area, so that means it's a room. You guys see the door anywhere? Hello? Or is it in the water? Is that why? No, it can't be. <laughs> the faster you vibe, the earlier you die. So I'll die early. Yeah. That's always a thing I think about a lot. Whether or not the sacrifices I've made in a format of my personal health for the sake of creating something, whether or not that's really worth it in the long run, you know? I do think about that a lot. Hmm. As referring to like animal metabolism? Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Instead you got a depressing... You got some words of depression from Toter. <laughs> huh? Why am I not seeing it? There's one more area, one more sub-area here, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, like, how do you get to this? Interesting. Well, I think I'll come back here after I figure that out. For now, I'm going to just... I'm just going to head back. It's how they always say, vibe fast, die young. <laughs> Don't vibe to be immortal. Yeah, I mean, that's what hibernation is for, right? The character in this game looks like Toter with body and hands and legs. <laughs> you know how many people have said that now? <laughs> Every single person has been like, OMG, it's Toter. 
That's why rocks and dead things are immortal, and giant climbs down in the deep sea is living even longer. Yeah, exactly. Wait, this goes inside. Yeah, I've already been there. Oh, I know. It's because I have to lower the water level later. That's what all those areas are. They're the areas that you lower the water level for. Uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> they don't vibe anymore. Yeah, have you ever seen a rock vibe in? I haven't. How do you activate the portal here again? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to look for, so go look for the other doors. The meaning of life is vibing? Is it, though? Is it, really? Isn't the meaning of life to make sure that life continues? Is that not what the meaning of life is? <gasps> wait, 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 the owl. The owl's here. The owl's here. How do I get to the owl? I need to talk to the owl. They only come out at night, so I gotta talk to them when possible. Hi, owl. Oh, owl of the tree. What are your words? The many are one. Who, who? The one is many. Okay. Wing. Hmm. I wonder what all these Tetris pieces are for. Like, look, this is literally just a sequence of Tetris pieces, isn't it? If only we knew what they meant. If only we knew what they meant. But according to my checklist, we have not learned how to play Tetris yet, so we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to do Tetris things. No Tetris things allowed. Oh, right, there's also that door over there, which also has a sequence of Tetris pieces on it. Unfortunate. Okay, let's see here. Check this out! It's a bomb! You can pick up and throw bombs by pressing left control. But be careful! You can also drop a bomb gently by pressing down and left control. Alright. Alright, it's bomber man time. Down, left control. Did that work? No, it didn't because I wasn't rotated correctly. Ah. Alright, let me try that again. Okay, then set this down here, and then stand here. Nice. Hmm. Wing. Ow. Seriously? <laughs> Wow, a full cube! Amazing. Okay, not that yet. Alright, let's keep going down and see what there is. Let's keep going down and see what there is. Hmm, I feel like we've already been here before though. Well, let's keep going down and see what there is. Hmm, that door looks familiar. Hmm, that warp gate also looks familiar. Interesting. Well, anyways, let's warp. I've always wondered why they put a warp gate there when it's already so close to the warp area. Okay, I guess it wasn't actually that close. Maybe I shouldn't have warped there. Oops. Oh, right, this. How do I get up this again? Oh, right, this is the warp gate. This is how you get to other areas. Okay, 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 hold on. This is not where we need to be. Where we need to be right now is through this. Wow, this tree sure is a lot bigger on the inside than the outside. Okay, we can only go up. Only go up. Up, we go. Wait, there's a secret door there. Hold on. Okay, I haven't found the other end of it yet, so I can't use it. Boing. This is like a mix of nice 8-bit sounds and then keyboard clacking. Up. 
the tree we go. Into another realm. <sighs> the forest. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm. Didn't we see one of these things around somewhere else? Even Bit has something to say about it. Dot dot dot. I wonder what this is. Yeah, I sure do wonder what that is. Maybe it will be important someday that's not today. Wait, let me check how many keys I have. Zero? Oh my god. Uh, one day I'll have keys. I can just jump up this way, lol. I wonder what's inside this shack. Spooky curtains. Oh, I don't remember what this is for. Oh my god, there's something on the other side, but I don't remember. Oh, I remember. All I gotta do is just exit. That, that's not where I remembered us coming in from. Spooky, but this is not where we should be right now. We need to go back to the forest. The forest is the important place. Oh, owl. Wait, how do I get up there? I need to talk to the owl. Oh, right, these are bouncy. Boing, boing. Well, that was useless. Boing, boing, boing. 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 Hello, owl of the tree. What wisdom do you have for me today? A point of origin. After and beyond. Bye. I don't know what you're talking about there, but it was interesting. I actually do know what they're talking about. I'm pretty sure the owls are talking about the te the, the hexahedron, the cube. About how awesome the cube is, basically. Basically, that's what they're talking about there. Alright, let's bounce up this thing again. Boing. 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 Where is the important area again? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, this is wall hack that gap over there. Imagine there being a... That didn't happen. <laughs> How can I be so bad at like the basic things of jumping? Okay, uh, that didn't happen either. Boing. Okay. Hello, bird. Are you okay, bird? I don't think he's okay. Let's check what's in here. Oh wait, this is a whole other area. Hmm, maybe I wasn't supposed to come here. I just want to learn how to... Where's your grapple toter? Sorry, I'm not playing Pathfinder, I'm playing Gomez. Yeah, tell me more about this thing. Oh, huh? I wonder what this is. Yeah, one day I'll know what it is. What does this stone say again? Well, I don't remember. Hey, let's go check out that uh, treasure chest over there, shall we? Wait, is this really the top of it? No, there's a whole other area right over here. Huh? How do I get up there? Right, this thing probably tells me how to get up there, but I don't remember what it says. Is this where we should be right now? I'm pretty sure this is not where we should be. Where is the Tetris room? We need to find the Tetris room so we can learn about Tetris. And then we can start playing Tetris after finding the Tetris room. The Tetris room is the most beautiful part of this game. It really opens things up once we find it. I wish I could read Toter. Yeah, I mean, look at my goals in the top left of, of of the screen, right? These are the things we have to learn in order to play this game. How to count, how to play Tetris, how to look down, and how to read. 
That's also in no particular order. I don't remember what the order that you learn these things is. There's bits. I think they're upstairs then. Let me try going up this thing. Can I not? Wait, how do I get up this thing? Do I have to jump over from here, maybe? Oh, that can't be right, because my jump's not strong enough. Oh, I have to get on the cherry tree first. Okay, let me try that. Right, onto the cherry tree, and then we rotate like this. Cool. There's also a door on the side over here. Wow, okay. We can grab the bit while we're at it. Wong. Oh, that's a full cube. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's check this side room first to the throne. Do, 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 do. Bruh, I hate this place. What does it mean? I can't remember. One, two, three, four, there's... Okay, there's six of these. All right. This is the part where I remember... Me remembering how the puzzles works comes in handy. So. These pictures over here are the eight different ways that you can unfold a cube into squares, okay? But what we have right now, we have, um... What? Eight cubes? So we have to find, we have to arrange them in a way, I think, that eight cubes could be used to fold into a... No, no, you're, we're actually just supposed to form one of these shapes, never mind, I'm overthinking it. We just have to use these eight cubes to form one of these shapes. And there's only one shape I think that is formable here, maybe? The second one from the top on the left row? I think that one would work. Let's check it out. Let's try it out. Also, one little detail I like is that these these cubes, they snap into place for you. Nope. All right, put it down here. Do they have to be aligned in both dimensions? Maybe they do have to be aligned in both dimensions. Let me try aligning them in both dimensions first. Or maybe in both dimensions they have to make a valid shape. Is that it? I think that's it. Man, I wish I remembered how to do these puzzles. <laughs> well, I guess it would be slightly too uninteresting if I didn't... Wait, the fact that they don't snap into place automatically in this dimension means that that's not the right solution, right? So how is this not the right solution, then? Because this definitely matches up with the second one from the top. And yet it is not the correct solution? Is it really because of the fact that they have to line up in both dimensions? No way. Maybe it is though. Let me try that out then. Let me rotate first. Okay. Grab this one. How do I do this? Am I really not allowed to grab it? Okay. Sure. Sure, I guess. Let me grab the cube. Gomez. Oh no, where am I? I'm stuck. Hmm? <laughs> I like how they're pushing each other in another dimension. Heck. 
maybe it is really about unfolding a tesseract. If they don't snap in the other dimension means it has to only be in one dimension, right? Why am I asking this? I'm supposed to know the solution to this puzzle, but I don't. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, then. Arranging it like one of those. Oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. Hold on, we need MS Paint, Kun. MS Paint. MS Paint. Everyone say hi to MS Paint. MS Paint is coming back today. We have MS Paint. All right, where are you, MS Paint? I'm looking for MS Paint right now. MS Paint. MS Paint. That's not MS Paint. Hello. Oh god, that's not what I wanted you to do. Let me get rid of that color key. Hi, MS Paint Coon. Uh, our hero is back. Our hero MS Paint is back. Our hero MS Paint is back to save the day. Now let me find that setting so that... Yeah, don't do that. That's good. There we go. Yeah, okay. So you see how up here... You see how in the game there are... It shows... What? 10 different ways to unfold a cube. To unfold a cube, right? There's 10 different ways to unfold a cube here. So the secret is... What are we supposed to arrange these guys into? The 11th way of unfolding a cube. There are 11 ways of unfolding a cube. And one of them is missing from there. The real question is, which one is the one that's missing? So let's just draw every single way of unfolding a cube that we can think of. The first one... The first thing we do is we can unfold the... Oh my god, I suck at drawing. We can unfold the middle, the middle ring of the cube. Hold on, let me draw a cube. This is a cube. This is a hexahedron. Okay, we can unfold this middle ring of the cube into this, right? And then there's this top and bottom panel, and they can be unfolded out from anywhere. So this is one pattern. Wait, hold on. This is one pattern, and then this is two, and then this is three, and then that's four. Okay. And then there's five, right? And then six. And then everything starting with this, those are just mirrored versions. So that's six patterns where we have a full row of four in the middle. And in these diagrams in the game, there are one, two, three, four, five, six of those. So it can't be any of those, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So it's not any of the six that are that have a four in a row unfolding like that. So instead, we can start with a three. We can try using a three in a row unfolding instead. I actually am resolving this as we go along, by the way. I have to draw out this diagram every single time on paper to solve this. We have the back side, the right side, and the left side are these three. And then we can unfold this side over here. That cannot be unfolded in that direction or in this direction. So that means it has to be unfolded to the bottom or the top. As for the top and bottom, is this where we learn Tetris? No, it is not. This is just one of the random puzzles in the game. For the top and bottom, we have several arrangements again, just like last time. We have um, one, two, and then three, and then the, the mirrored variants, right? So we had, we had six already with four in a row. Ink pulling out the graph paper and scissors. <laughs> right, and then, so... That means this one has to be like this. So this is one more variant here, right? And then there's also the mirrored versions 
And then for this one, we also have something like this, and we also have something like this here. So let's see if any, all three of these are in the diagram. Three across, one up, and hold on, sorry. Let me screenshot the game so we can cross them out. It'll be easier that way. Oh, hello game. That's not what I meant to do at all. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guys, I love puzzle games so much. <laughs> Right, so we already crossed out all the ones with four in a row. So these these ones are done with, right? All six of these are done with. But that means that the remaining ones are these four. So this one over here has a T shape and then off the edge of one of those. And that would be this one, right? So this one's done with as well. This one is like a squiggly piece. like this and then one off the edge so this one's also this one's also done with and then this one's literally just right here so it's this one right so that means this is the only one we haven't seen yet we've gone through all three of the ones where it's can we unfold no it can't this would have to be like over here Okay, so it's not any of the ones with the three unfolding either, but that means it has to be one with the two unfolding, right? We start off by unfolding two like this. Let me get rid of all of this crap. We start off with two like that. Let me try out a cube again. <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. No way. Thank you for participating, Ink. That actually makes me kind of happy for some reason. So we got these two pieces over here, and we're not allowed to unfold to the right anymore, so let's unfold one up to the top like this. Okay, and then let's... No, it can't be three in a row, because we've already done every single one with three in a row. Have we? Is there one where... There's another three in a row here, and then this one it wraps back around like this, then wraps down like this. The game allows reflections of existing patterns as others. Yeah, it does. Otherwise, there would be a lot of four in a row ones that are missing. I think the one I think the one we're missing actually is is a three in a row one. It's actually like this, isn't it? Isn't this the one we're missing? Is this not the one we're missing? We have three in a row like that. One, two, three, and then it goes up and then to the right. Okay, and then it goes to the left. Which is No, it's another straight line like that. It's not up here, it's like this. It's three in a row like this and three in a row like this. Yeah, it's 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 this one. This is the one that was not on the diagram. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we have to make this shape. So if we if we make the last the missing shape, then I think it should work. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is in the way. This one's in the way. Yeah, and it's definitely possible to make this shape as well. I'm imagining ink like actually cutting out the shape that it just drew and then like folding it into a cube. I'm the more I look at it, the more confident I get that this can be folded into a cube. But we'll just have to see when we put these cubes into place if it's correct. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> nice. Anti-cube. Let's go. Alright, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs>
I remembered like what the way of solving it was because I've played this before, but I still didn't remember the exact solution. Nice. All right. So that's the puzzle of this area. That had nothing to do with Tetris, but it was pretty cool. This game's all about cubes and stuff, so we're going to see a lot of rooms about cubes, you know. Okay, let's see here. There's only one other place to go to here. That's through this. All right, let's go. I was just delivered some persimmons. Now I will eat the persimmons while playing the game. Hmm. Mm. They're nice and sweet. <gasps> Caterpillar! Look at him vibe! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wait, he wants to come to me. Aw, isn't he a friendly little guy? Look at him. He's following me. How cute. Okay, let's stop wasting time with that. I forgot what these white pillars are for, actually. Well, whatever. Uh. 3D toaster solved 3D puzzle made 3D arcs. I am a genius. The village of the skies. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I need to check the map again. I'm pretty sure we learn about Tetris here. Through the locked door? Are you serious? Oh my god, I need to get a key. Once I get a key, I'm going to come here and check this room out, because I'm pretty sure this is the Tetris room. I'm pretty sure that's the Tetris room, because I remember the Tetris room being in the forest area. But we'll just have to check that later. For now, let's just keep going through the other areas. There's a warp gate here. And a chest? There's a chest in this area. Oh my god, I have to find that right now. Chest, Doko. Doko. And you see in the background how the area that we were just from, this area over here, looks like a throne for a dude. It's awesome. Okay, okay. That's not where the chest is. It must be at the top then. Oh, what's this? Hello? Whoa! What happened here? You know what this is? This is a w interstellar warp gate, but it got eaten up by the corruption, but we can't use it. Hmm, how do we get over there? I guess I have to jump. Frick. Okay, I have to go from like over here or something. Wow, I'm surprised that didn't kill me. How about this? Ow. Okay, carefully make our way up here and grab that. That didn't happen. I, I didn't just die there. I'm good at video games, guys. And that's everything here. Okay, let us leave. Let us leave this cursed place. Oh, there's a shortcut door over here. Hello, shortcut door. Show me your mysteries. Oh, I guess it's not unlocked yet, unfortunate. The chest is at the top of this area, isn't it? Area. Area. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's the warp gate. Ah, there's a chest. Hello, chest. You are very important. I need you. I need you. I need you. Da 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 da. You I want. Da 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 da. All right. Other side is it? Okay. You better be a key. Please, no treasure map. God damn it. It was a treasure map. It was a treasure map. Unfortunate. Hmm. 
Hmm. Does this area look familiar to you guys? It looks familiar to me. I'm sure we will find it someday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this game is actually about me looking for keys all day long. Well, we might as well check all these other rooms in this ruined civilization. Yes. The tall-headed men with fez hats created a portal. Yeah. But then the portal was destroyed by the chaos. You see, they built this portal. They built the portal. And they're like, heck yeah. And then it got destroyed. Unfortunate. That's your lore right there. Lore of the day. Alright, that room was done with. And there's another room over here. Wait, is that turtle spinning around? Oh my god. Oh my god, so cute. Bing. Ah yes, and this was their feudal society. You know, you got the peasants, and then you got, you know, the middle workman journeyman class, and then you got the at the top, you've got the king and the nobles. You know? That's how their ruling class worked. It's kind of like a feudal kingdom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the chaos is here. All right, let's see. What other doors are there? All right, there's this one. Wing. Right, there's a secret door here, but it's closed right now, so we can't go through that yet. Is the sole pur purpose of this room to teach about how these secret doors work? <laughs> and then... All right, let's check this room. Door opening technique. Ah yes, the throne room. You gotta have a big throne for the king, you know? It is I, the king of cube. <laughs> Hello funny symbols. I wish I knew what you meant, but I don't. So we will pretend you don't exist. And... Okay, we've already been through that one. How many more are there? Quite a few. Few. There's one more small room and then two sub areas to go to. Okay. Oh, there it is. Let's walk around like that. Oh. Hello. Huh? I wonder what this means. Well, I guess it's time for the fourth wall breaking shit, huh? Alright, guys, let's get our cameras out. Get our cameras out and see what this stands for. It is a literal QR code. Okay, so let's see. This QR code says RT, RT, LT, RT, LT, 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 RT. So this actually does require that you play on a controller, but on a controller, the rotate controls are LT and RT. Okay, so. L RT means rotate, right? That's RT, right? Hold on. Oh my god, I lost it. The camera app, the camera app lost. Hold, hold on. Let me scan that again. And this time I'm going to type it in chat so I don't forget. Hello. Oh my god, my camera is so mad. It like doesn't want to see this as a QR code. Hello? Does anyone remember what the sequence of LTs and RTs I just said was? R R L R L L L R. Okay, thank you. So right, right, left, right, left, 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 right. <gasps> Spooky! Spooky! It's a magical dance to summon anti-cubes. You gotta turn to the right, then turn to the right, then turn to the left, and turn to the right. Then you turn to the left three times, and then you turn to the right. And then after doing that, a cube pops out. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah, that's how that, that puzzle works. Okay. So now we've gotten... Now we have to look for two big areas. Okay. 
Well, we've already been to that big area. But there should be a door around here somewhere that leads me to whatever is in the background right now. Let's go this way. Do -do -do. Spooky. Not today, cubes. They want to squish me. Okay, there's a minor gate here, some bits of secret, and then another area. So let's go. That didn't happen. Uh, huh, I wonder what that says. What does that say? Well, I don't know. I can't read yet. <laughs> no, these aren't rooms. Those doors just lead to other areas. These are not rooms. No, the doors can just be thought of as like magical multi-dimensional portals or some crap. No! No, not this area. Oh god. Oh crap. Look guys, it's a clock. Boy, I wonder what this clock could be for. I wonder what the puzzle of this clock is. It, tell me all about it. Hey, Gomez, you know what time it is? It's cube o'clock! Unfunny! So from each of the four perspectives, there's a different clock hand. This one's the second hand. I wonder what happens when it reaches the red at the top. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Cube appeared. No, I missed it. I was too slow. Well, you know what else there is? There's a blue one. You know what? There's a green one and there's a white one. And they seem to be moving but very slowly. So, the whole puzzle of this area is that these hands depend on real time or some crap like that. <laughs> you just have to wait. Or you can set your system time, which is what I usually do. But I'm not going to set my system time because I'm afraid that's going to screw up the stream. Or you're not, you know what, maybe it won't. I'm gonna set my system time right after this and see what happens. Okay, but that's one of them. That's one of them. Yep, goodbye. I don't remember what this one was. Is this one like every 15 minutes? Mod 10 or something? Okay guys, if the stream suddenly ends, it's because I'm setting the system clock right now. How do I do this again? Adjust date time? I wonder if this will work. Can I just switch the time like right here? Is this gonna work? <laughs> you guys can still hear me, right? The stream's still going. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I think it's on the 15th. No, it's not. It's on 20 then. So I just changed the time to, um, I just changed the time to 1020. So, so that clock hand is every, um, whenever the minute of the hour is on 20, then you can grab the cube here. So when this game was a console only game, getting these cubes was a lot more painful because, um, you know, it's hard to change the time on a console. You found 16 cubes, you know what to do. You can open that last door now. At least I think it's the last door. No, it's not. There are many more. And then, uh, this green one. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep changing the time. So right now it's 10.20 is what my current time is. Let's change the time to 10.50. Oh my god. This one's based on the hour. Holy shit. Okay, so we're going to change the time to... We're going to change the time to what? 3 a.m.? I guess that wasn't it. How about... No, the fact that this thing like changes instantly... Oh, it might be 12, yeah. 12 p.m. Nope, that wasn't it. It looks like it should be around 1 then. Or not 1, but 1 a.m.? Okay, I set it to 2 a.m. and it worked. Yeah, a time puzzle that's based on the hour's severe pain. Yeah, I know, right? This was so hard to do when it was, like, on the consoles. But because I can just fudge the time here... So I set the time to 2 a.m. for this one. That one required the time to be 2 a.m. Now let's take a look at this last one, okay? <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. Oh my god, changing the time broke. <laughs> changing the time broke my face tracking. Well, I'll fix the face tracking after we finish fudging around the time for this one. So, you see, the first one was based on seconds. The second one was based on minutes. The third one was based on hours. So this fourth one, it's based on the day of the week. I'm not shitting you. I would open this game every single day and be like, holy crap, this thing still didn't change. So let's go back to, um, let's go back to 12 a.m. And then let's change the day to November 15. Oh, that was too much. That went way far too far. November 13, maybe? Okay, so it's November 13 now. And I'm going to set the time to 12 p.m. and see how far for that goes. Yeah, November 13 at 1 p.m. So that would be what? That's like about one and a half days from now. Yeah, so about one and a half days from now, it would have taken that long for us to get this cube. <laughs> Okay, let's fix the time. Alright, my system time is back to normal. It's now 10.04 p.m. again. On November 11th. And let me fix my Live 2D because my Live 2D got fucked up by me changing the time. For some reason. The cube is available. I'm actually amazed that changing the time screwed up the tracking. I would have to restart VTube Studio. Holy crap. <laughs> but yeah, this this puzzle was like a huge pain in the ass to do when the game was console only. <laughs> I think the game I'm not sure if the game intends for you to change the time because it's based on the whole week. I think it cycles once a week. Because it's based on a week, I kind of get the feeling that it was intended for you to um change the time in a clock or something like that sorry i have to restart vtube studio because apparently changing the time screws it up yeah all right i seem to be back here then i'm back i'm back can you believe that changing the time screwed up YouTube Studio? That's like the weirdest thing ever. Why would that matter? Okay, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is time limited. All right. Yep, and that's the clock tower area. Probably one of the most BS puzzles in this whole game. Almost as BS as the unsolved puzzle. <laughs> Yes, there is an entire unsolved puzzle in this game. Oh, there's another area that we haven't been to yet. It's that temple in the background, right? Yeah, okay. 
There should be a door around here somewhere that will let me go to that area as well. Ah, yeah, it's this door. Okay. Next area. Hello. Hello, temple. I actually think these guys are the precursors to the current race, maybe? Hmm. All right. Boing. <laughs> Get juked! What is here? There's one room and then there's a bit on the roof. Okay. I'll go inside the temple later. I think if I... Yep. Boing. Nice. Why did that kill me? Okay, let's go inside the temple and see what's in here. Why, yes, that's the temple. And this looks like our home. This here looks like our home. Yes. These rooms all look very familiar. These are all the different civilizations that we have been through. But what's this fireplace? What if I were to turn around like this? How do I go into this thing again? What is, what is here? How to do this? How do I get through this thing? Oh wow, the music gets a lot louder in this section. I see how it is. Alright, that should be better. I was thinking it might have something to- Oh, it is the books. Okay, I pressed control on the books and that pushed them. Well, it really was the books. Interesting. Alright, we are in the globe room. What is this secret library? Alright, oh, there's a bit inside of this dude. Let me rotate this until I find it. No, 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 sorry, it's over here. And then I think we can access the bit this way. Nice. Oh. Ding. Can we go in here as well? Nope. But I think if we turn the globe around another 360, we should be able to go, or 180. There should be a doorway on the other side of this, I think. Yeah, all right. Into this model earth we go what could possibly be inside the mysteries a chest hello a book you have found an ancient artifact it looks like a book yup it's a book Thank you. Let's take a look at this book, shall we? There's four ancient artifacts. What could possibly be inside this book? Interesting. Is there really nothing else I can do with this? I suppose not. They're just artifacts. I actually don't remember what the book artifact is for. <laughs> thing in there yes it was all right i guess we're getting out of here then also you see this place was custodianed by the tall head dudes and they also had fezes which means that they understood 3d geometry okay 
Well, out of this spooky temple that turned out to be a library. I don't know why I call it a temple. <laughs> it was a library the whole time. Where's the warp gate back? Oh, it's over here, huh? Okay, let's go take the miner. No, we don't need to take the miner warp gate. We can just literally just go through the exit. Just go through the exit that's right down there. Right down here. Or maybe not. We could also get squished to death. I guess that's a choice too. Alright. Back to the center of the village or city we go. Okay, let's see here. There's another major area that we need to go to. And it should be... Is it not this orientation? Let's see, what's in the background right now? Yeah, that thing. So there's another door around here somewhere. Oh, hello, where do you go? Wait, where is this? Oh, that takes me all the way back to the library. Okay, interesting. There should be a closed door around here some- ah, here it is. Nom nom nom. Alright. Up you go. Alright, gotta hold this down. Yeah, it's timed. Time platforming time, let's go. You can't actually climb across fast enough, you have to do that. <laughs> the hacker way. Where do I go after this? Wait, where was I supposed to go after that? Hello? Where was I supposed to go after that? Let me try that again. Okay, once I'm at the top, where do I go? Huh? Oh, no, I think I understand. I think I'm supposed to climb to the top here, and then like rotate around 360 to hack my way here or something like that. Yeah, okay. Okay, game, thanks. Thanks, I guess. And this is the same thing as before. We rotate it so that we can make it our way up faster. And then I think we have to go here? Nope! I'm dumb. Where is our next destination? Is it the same thing as last time? Let me try that again. Is it not just this platform to the left of us right now? I guess it's not. <laughs> Grab that, spin this around. Platforming. Gotta love it. I love how bad I am at this. Oh, it's just over here. Okay, derp. And then another one of these. Yeah, let's go. Da 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 cha, da 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 cha. Uh, finally, we made it to the top of whatever this thing is. Oh, the observatory. Oh god, we're not doing this. We're not doing the observatory. This thing's actually really hard. Let's grab this first. Yeah, okay. Right, so this is the observatory. It's a, uh, it's one hell of a trial. Let's go in here. Hmm. That's a lot of things. I wonder what they could all mean. Alright, let's go up this thing first. Up. 
All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look, shall we? Ah, I love the stars. Hmm, I wonder what that flashing red pixel means. There's actually two of them, one flashing at the top and one flashing at the bottom. And there also seem to be some Tetris pieces in the sky as well. Well, I guess we won't know what those ever mean. I am not doing this puzzle. There's something, the, the flashing red thing, as you can see over here, how it shows in the upper left, there's um, this whiteboard over here actually gives a hint at how this puzzle works, right? This is the thing that we just saw, and in the upper left corner over here, there's two dots. That's Those are the flashing red dots. And the flashing red dots are supposed to give you like a code for some in button inputs to press, but I can't remember what they are right now, so we're not doing that because I'll be stuck here for two hours. And that one's not important either. I can't read. I wonder what all this stuff underneath me is. Oh my god, where is the one? There is, there's... There's like actually a piece of text somewhere that is actually legible without knowing how to read. And that's how you're supposed to learn how to read. But I don't know where it is. I don't remember where it is. Well, I guess we'll just have to check out this spooky area with the three-eyed... What the heck? Oh man, there's two more areas after this one? Okay. Okay. I see. Let's rotate. Unlimited things. Oh, well, that wasn't correct. Or, well, I mean, it was correct, but I'm just bad at jumping. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. This time, no toter bad at jumping memes. Please. No toter bad at jumping memes. Thank God. And I think we can wall hack our way over to over here. Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I didn't realize this was part of the time challenge. I think we can still get up. I think we can still get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be able to jump up each of these gaps here. Up. 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 Okay. Let's check what's in here first. Interesting. That's not helpful at all. No, this is it. This is where you learn Tetris. This is where you learn Tetris. Hello, Tetris pieces. When I press down, it makes this piece. When I press up, it makes that piece. When I press right, it makes that piece. When I press left, it makes that piece. When I rotate to the left, it makes that piece, and when I rotate to the right, it makes that piece. And then when I jump, it makes a cube. So clearly, the Tetris pieces, what they mean is a sequence of inputs, or a dance, I will call it. And that is the meaning of the Tetris pieces. But then, we look at this, okay? We look at this thing. And we're just like, wait a minute. It looks like a sequence of Tetris pieces. It looks like a sequence of Tetris pieces. So what do we do with that, huh? What do we do with this sequence of Tetris pieces that we see on this pillar right here? This sequence of Tetris pieces, right? Look. Hold on, let me change the color of this. This is a... oh wait, this is too big. Right? And then this is a square, and then this is that thing, and then this thing. Then there's another square here, and then there's a downwards T piece here, and then there's this, and then that. Okay. 
But did we see these two pieces? We did not see these two pieces. What we saw was up, down, right, left, jump is a square. And then we saw rotate to the right is that. And this is rotate to the left. So what are these two weird lightning bolt pieces? What are they? They're not in the list of things that we've been taught about how Tetris works. Or maybe, maybe, what if we took all this? Okay, and then watch, we rotate it. We rotate it like this. Yeah, we rotate it. And suddenly the right and left pieces make sense. In fact, if we go back to the game and we run back up to this thing up here we do a rightwards rotation and the leftwards rotation well okay i guess i guess that didn't teach us anything but you know it's rotated what if we took the rotated version of whatever was shown here okay reading it from top to bottom and then we rotate it so it's left to right instead and then we input everything that has that was shown on this pillar so let's do this okay we got up jump rotate right rotate left jump down rotate left rotate right the ritual has been completed the dance has been inputted and the cube shows itself to us and that my friends is how you play tetris i'm sure that someone smarter could figure this out without even coming to this room but generally speaking most people figure out how to play tetris from this room so um let me see if oh my god you're writing it in korean <laughs> how to play tetris we've learned how to play tetris we've learned how to play tetris and now suddenly all the tetris pieces in the rest of this game make a lot more sense and actually, there's another room somewhere else that teaches you even further how to play Tetris. But I feel that if you're smart enough and you just saw this room and this sequence, you would be able to piece it together. There's another room somewhere else in the game that teaches you how to rotate the Tetris pieces and piece them together into a dance. But that's not this room. What is this here? What else is in this area? There's a portal at the top and then there's this room. So let's go in here first. We have learned how to play Tetris. I guess I thought we were going to find the counting room first, not the Tetris room. Interesting. Huh? What's this mean? Ah! Seriously, did I just do that? What else is here? There's one more room somewhere. Oh, right, it's one of these, huh? It's not that one, it's the one on the other side. Okay. Like the one over here, I think. Yeah. Do, 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 do. These guys were philosophers. They knew how the Earth was composed of. They knew how to do math. They knew all sorts of things. Da -da 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 -da. You have found an ancient artifact! Oh, I think this was used to count! Used to count? So you're telling me... You're telling me what you're telling me here... Maybe is that this is one, two, three, four, maybe? But the truth is that this artifact misleads you. This is one, and I'm pretty sure this is actually four, and this is six, and this is five? Wait, what? No way. That's, that's wrong. Did I forget how to count? I forget how to count. Hold on. 
I might have actually forgotten how the number system works in this game. I'm pretty sure that's not 1, 2, 3, 4, though. I'm pretty sure that is not 1, 2, 3, 4. Because that just seems wrong to me. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Yeah, the cube is wrong. The cube is wrong. That is not how you count at all. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you guys how you actually learn to count later. How about top and bottom? Oh yeah, you're right. I totally forgot that there are even buttons to change from top to bottom. No, actually you can't. Can you look from top to bottom? I mean, there's like, there's like a plus at the top and then like, and then like nothing on the bottom. But this is not how you count. This is not how you count at all. These are numbers, however. It is true that these are numbers. It's just not the correct way to count. Ouch. Okay, let's get to the top of this thing. Huh. Yeah. Warp gate. This game's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought I'd be able to finish it all in four hours, but I don't think that's happening. <laughs> How many cubes do we have? We need 32 cubes, right? I know we need 16 to get into one of the gates, but we need 32 to get into the gate after that one. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's see what else we haven't found here yet. There's a secret there. An ultra secret is there. And then... Ah, yes, the throne room. There is a secret in the throne room. I'm pretty sure the throne room was this one, maybe? Mm, why did I just fall there? No, nope, that's a QR room. <laughs> is this the throne room? Yeah, this is the throne room. So if you guys look very carefully when I'm rotating back and forth here, there's a sequence of Tetris pieces on the wall, right? So, oops, that's the wrong button. If we take a screenshot of that, and post it in MS Paint. <laughs> oh man. Take a screenshot of that, post it in MS Paint, here we go. Okay, and you see all these are rotation all these are rotation prompts, right? So we rotate, if we look at it and, and read it from top to bottom, we gotta rotate this whole thing counterclockwise. It would be right, 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 left, 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 left. And then nothing happened. Nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? Am I supposed to be sitting on the throne when I do it? Let me try that again. Maybe I have to be looking at it. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Huh, wait, why is that not working? Am I reading right and left wrong? Maybe it's supposed to be right from bottom to top. Hello? How am I not? Why is this not working? Why is this not working? I'm actually quite surprised. Huh? Huh? Why is that not working? Wow. I actually forgot. Okay, thanks game. Thanks game for having things that apparently even I have forgotten. Let's go back and check this area out, shall we? I'm sure there's an interesting puzzle there. How'd we get there? Not ah, this one. Is it down here, the entrance? No, that one goes to the observatory. How do we get over here? I'm 
fact, I see- no, 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 hold on. I'm pretty sure it's this one, actually. Yeah, there we go. Wasn't there a treasure map for this room? Was there not a treasure map for this room? Let me check the treasure maps for this room to see if there's one for this room. No, that's not this room. Nope. I got my facts wrong. This is not the room. We can't do this one yet. But maybe we can... Oh, it's this one. Okay, hold on. No, I have to make it over to that platform over there. Oh. Also, MS Paint, goodbye. You were useless. I don't know why MS Paint didn't work for that one. I'm pretty sure I... I think I know why it didn't work. We need to learn how to, um... We need to learn how to look down for that one. <laughs> what does it mean to learn how to look down? Well, we'll just have to learn about that later, huh? Okay. In, here we go. This is the room that the treasure chest was pointing to. Right. Or not the treasure chest, but the treasure map. This map, as you can see, is a perfect silhouette of the room that we're in right now. And as usual, there are some hidden platforms off to the left side of this. Around here, I think. Or maybe it only works when I'm facing this way. Hello? Hello? It's clearly on this map. So why is it not working? Shouldn't it be right here? Look, this is where we are. Mm. Is it too high up for me to jump there? Oh, maybe it's this orientation. Ah, there we go. I was oriented incorrectly. Okay. Magical invisible platforms that only work when you're oriented a certain way. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna open this. Please be a key, please be a key. Oh no, it's another map. Wait a minute, was that a QR code? Oh my god, another QR code? Are you kidding me? What's with this game and QR codes? This one should be easier to scan. It's R R R L R R R L. Okay, let's do that then. R R R L R R R L. Who is it? Hello. Oh right, there's also another one. <laughs> There's also one more cube that we can get right now, the same way. So in the achievements for Fez, in the achievements for Fez, there is an achievement called Achievement Unlocked. Okay. And the description for the achievement is as follows. R R L R R L L L. <laughs> The only way to get this cube is by reading the achievements and reading that description and being like, oh, okay, I guess it just got inserted. <laughs> oh my god, this game's such a troll. I love it. I love how meta the game is. It really is like a mood. It's just such a mood how meta this game is. We're at 34? Oh, okay, we're at 34 already. So you know what? Let's just... Let's just go back to the doors then, because I think we can just, at least we can learn one more thing, which is how to um, look down. Let us go learn how to look down, shall we? <laughs> Boing. Once again, we are in the tree of life. Slowly making our way down. Boing. Okay, I didn't die there. God. 
No, that's not it. Where am I supposed to go? Not this door, but another one. There's another door somewhere. Maybe it's through here? Ah, there we go. Down the tree of life until we get all the way to the bottom. Okay, that's the warp gate. Oh no, we can we don't have to go through this. Oh. Ow. Alright. We can finally visit the third and last civilization. Needs 16 cubes or Yeah, 16 cubes. Alright, let's see what's behind here. <gasps> They're still alive! The big head people are still alive. The big brain smart people. Wow. Who knew? Who would have guessed? A thriving community. Can I talk to them? No, I don't know how to read. I can't talk to them because I don't know how to read. <laughs> Look at that derpy bird. <laughs> this looks oddly similar to another area that we've been in. Hmm, interesting. Hello, can I talk to you? I guess not. Unfortunate. There's a lot of rooms here. They're still building a warp gate, but it's not done yet. Line, plane, cube. And, as we know, these are numbers, right? So that means this must be zero because it's zero dimensions. This is one because it's one dimensional. This is two, so it's two dimensional. And this is three because it's three dimensional. So now we know how to write zero, one, two, and three. But wait. There's more. There's these equal signs. Obviously, these shapes, obviously these two shapes are equal to each other, right? But somehow this down is also equal to this L. We know this is three, so this must also be three, right? There are two different ways of writing three. Why is that? Why is that? We look at this over here, and it's even more math. It's even more math. These three numbers added together equals the one on the bottom. But the bottom number is the same in all three cases. So that means the sum of the things at the top in all three of these are the same. What does this mean again? These are all numbers, but what are they important for? This is one, four, five, five, ten, zero? One, four, five, five, ten, zero? What does that mean? Hmm. <laughs> Rez is per Fez's perfect math class. Did I put Rez in this accidentally? It's actually called Fez. But anyways, I'm not sure if a player is supposed to be able to figure out how math works by here. But you learn a lot of important information about numbers through this classroom. More pressure for Toaster to play Monument Valley in sequel? Monument Valley game? What is Monument Valley? 
an actual place, but there's a game called Monument Valley. Interesting. All right, I'll keep that on my list of things to look out for. How many other rooms are there? The artifact, but you get but unfolded. I see. Oh, you're right. It is the artifact, the counting cube I got. So the big head dudes, they're looking up to three-eyed tentacle dudes. I see. The three-eyed tentacle dudes gave them the tesseract, not the tesseract, the hexahedron. And therefore, by giving the hexahedron, they became the rightful kings of the land. See, they used to be uneducated. And then the aliens came, the tentacle aliens came, and gave them the hexahedron, which taught them about 3D and, well, gave them the divine right to, to rule. Monument Valley is a game like what you're playing, but you'll be seeing optical illusions in every puzzle. Interesting. I'll look into it. I have written it down, and I will look into it after the stream. Wait, what did I just get? I wasn't paying attention. I got a key? All right, nice. Is there anything else here? That's it. All right. More rooms to check. More lore to learn. Hello, guys. What are you doing up here? Ah, yes. They're working on a QR code. It's unfinished. But, but we've already seen this QR code. And you know why we've already seen this QR code? Because this area is actually... Um, that area is actually this area, but from the past. We've already seen the QR code in this room. <laughs> we've already seen the QR code in this room. This is the same QR code. No, I got a key. I, I checked my, my VOD and I had gotten a key from that area. Okay, how many more rooms are there here? There's still two small rooms and one big room. The big room is the one with the uh, warp gate. But let's check the other small rooms first. Okay, there's one here. Do -do -do -do. Ah, yes, the throne room. You guys remember the throne room? Yeah, this is another hint that the other area is... Is it because I have to do the dance here in this throne room instead? Was it? Wait, wait, this is a different dance. What the heck? Hold on. Hold on, let me MS Paint this. This dance is different. Let me see if I can bring up MS Paint. And... All right, let's try doing this dance and see what happens. Let's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right. And then nothing happened. Obviously we're doing something wrong here, but I don't really know what I'm doing wrong. Am I supposed to read it from the bottom up instead? Let me try doing these rotations in the opposite direction then. Right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Huh? Excuse me? Excuse me? Well, I guess I'll have to come back here later. Uh. Okay, one more small room. One more small room. Where is it? Where's the last small room? Also, MS Paint, you can go away. I really need to add a button on my stream deck for that. Oh, the small room's over there. Let's open this guy up. Wait, I don't have none? Well, it's that, another door. This room requires one, two, thirty-two cubes. Must be something really special behind that door. I don't have thirty-two. I have twenty-four. Wait, I don't know how to do math. I legitimately saw 14 and 10, and then I was like, yeah, that's 32. What? <laughs> How did I do that math wrong? Let's just pretend that didn't happen. I only came here because I thought I had 32 cubes, but I guess I don't. Spooky. Hear the owls. See their effigy. Assemble the parliament. Spooky Owl. You remember in one of the ancient 
in one of the ancient societies, the tall-headed, one-eyed people worshipped owls. The reason they worship owls is because owls are able to turn their head 360 degrees. And therefore, in this universe, owls were able to see 3D without the help of the without the help of the hex, hex hexahedron. That's why owls are the most OP creatures in this universe, because they didn't need the hexahedron to spin them around in 3D for them to be able to comprehend 3D. <laughs> okay, I guess I actually have to go do more actual puzzles. All right, all right, fine. Be that way. What is this area? Oh, right. The one room we were missing is the one that we couldn't get into. What was this area? Okay, let's go check that room first. I'm pretty sure it's uh this one, right? Yeah. There's one room in here. Is programmer cannot do simple addition? Great. Don't come for me like that. <laughs> You're, you're right, but oh my god, please. Okay. But that's what the room looks like. It has a whiteboard on it. It's not that one. Yeah, these guys even, they were still worshipping the owls, even in that age. Ah, yes, this is where you learn how to dance. This is a room that teaches you, once you found the Tetris pieces, it tells you how to break them apart. Right? So on the upper right, step one, right? Because we know that's one, and that's two, and that's three. So step one, step two, step three. Step one, you take the Tetris pieces. You break Step two, you break them apart. And then step three, you rotate them counterclockwise to get the instructions that you're supposed to follow. And you can learn what the Tetris pieces do by going to this thingamajig, which we visited elsewhere. So, let's just do this dance, shall we? Let's just do this dance right here, shall we? The dance is... Up, left, rotate right, jump, rotate left, right, jump, down. Nice. Okay, cool, that's everything here. We learn how to dance. Wait, why is there another one here? What is... Uh -huh. Oh no, that one's not a real pattern. Never mind. Okay, let's get out of here. Flying toaster, hooray. Maybe because you're the smartest toaster in the class. Hey, hey, I'll have you know that I actually did very well in school. I wasn't like valedictorian or anything. I wasn't that smart, but I did do pretty well in school. I went to an Ivy League and I was a math club president in high school. I was, look, I was president of math club in high school and I still couldn't do simple addition. That just goes to show how much of an... <laughs> How dumb I am, oh my god, okay, anyways. This is not the correct room. This is not the correct place. I did not want to go here. Let's go back. Boo. Hey, better than me being the VP of Rocketry Club with all the responsibilities of the president. Okay, but, but listen, listen, I was the president of Math Club and I did fucking nothing. So um, I'm sorry, but I was basically the same as your president. <laughs> and also essentially being management, LOL. RIP. I'm sorry, I was not a very good president. Hey, look, it's another set of Tetris pieces. Let's do the dance, shall we? Let's do the dance and see what happens. Yeah, let me MS Paint this. Okay. Okay. So this one is... Up, rotate, left. Oh wait, that's not right. Oh my god, I already did this wrong. I already did this wrong. Here, I'll just show you guys. I'll just show you guys the process in case you haven't really fully comprehended it yet. We take this, 
Then we rotate it. We rotate it like this, okay? Wait, that was not right. Rotate it the other way. Rotate it like this. That's counterclockwise. We rotated it like that. And then we look at these pieces. Left. Rotate left. Right. Rotate right. Up. Jump. Down. Rotate right. Rotate right. And then we simply enter that into the game. Gotta do the dance, you know? Left. Rotate left. Right. RT. Up. Jump. Down. And then two rotations to the right. And then something happens. Wow. Amazing. What a brilliant game. To be quite honest, the reason I put how to play Tetris in the things we must learn is because it's so important to unlocking like 50% of this game's content that if you never learn to play Tetris, then it's kind of a... Uh, <laughs> you have to learn to play Tetris. Lower the water level. Lower the water level. Every platformer must have an area where you lower the water level. What's in here? Ooh, a chest. And some <laughs> weird heads. Okay. Up. Oh no, not this shit. I hate this, that, this, this is, this burnt thing treasure map over here is like the most useless treasure map ever. I mean, there's a set of instructions here. I don't remember if doing that dance actually does anything. I don't remember if doing this dance ever actually does anything. Let me try this. Up, right, up, jump, down, left, up, down. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. You have to stand somewhere specific to make it work. But, um... <laughs> that that particular treasure map is associated with the hardest puzzle in the game the unsolved the one unsolved puzzle there's actually an unsolved puzzle in this game believe it or not like the game's been out for nine years or so but by the time people lost interest in it the solution to the one unsolved puzzle of the game was not found properly instead what people did was brute force the solution as you guys have seen, a lot of the puzzles in this game are just pressing buttons in a weird in a weird sequence of buttons and then something happens, right? So people just went to the area with the last unsolved puzzle and they brute forced it. There was like a dozen or like a few dozen people who were assigned every single possible button combination and they just entered the button combinations until they found the one that worked. But nobody knows what the actual solution is. Like how are you supposed to actually find the solution to the, pro to the problem, to the puzzle? Nobody knows. Everyone knows the actual solution itself, but they don't know how to arrive at it correctly. People have had their suspicions, they've even asked the devs, and even the devs said that's not the correct way to solve the puzzle. There's other ways to solve the puzzle. There's a way to figure it out. The information exists, but no one has figured it out. That's the mystery, the biggest mystery of Bez is the one unsolved puzzle. Alright, so this one is left, rotate. Then left, right, rotate, down, up, rotate. There we go. All right, let's check out what's in here. When you're a programmer and you're too lazy to figure it out properly. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, so today I will brute force all the test cases. That is basically what happened, though. Oh, this is my favorite area in the game. It's the only secret left in the game area then. And the problem is the game wasn't popular enough, so like there were there wasn't that much manpower trying to figure it out. So unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the black monolith one. Wait, 
Where is it supposed to go? I like the music in this area so much. <laughs> oh my god, I lost progress. Uh oh. The reason the music in this area bops so much is because, you know, gotta have the platforms appearing and disappearing to the music. Mr. Hat. Why are people calling Transcendium Mr. Hat? I saw that in Archaea Discord earlier today, I think, but I have no idea the context behind it. Honestly, don't know. Don't worry. I am also subject to being called things that I am not. People call me Toter all the time, and I have no idea why. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go next? Is there a platform that appears later? Hey Toter, who charted in Galva? How many times do I have to tell you guys not to ask me that? Holy shit. No, you're I I know that you're just asking me that to troll me, Jesse. Oh my god, please. Oh. Riddle Soul. Toaster has never watched a Transcendium video. This is not true, but I... Oh wait, the fact that Transcendium's here right now means that I can't say anything about it. I have no comments. <laughs> Don't you re Okay, okay, thank you for telling me not to watch your videos. <laughs> yeah, they are- they, they sure are something else. Not- not my style. But you do you. Okay, I have to wait for this platform, I see. Oh no, oh no. I have to wait. I have to wait. I have to jump at the very- Oh shit, it's here. Yeah, all right, there we go. Where do I go next? Ah, here we go. Yeah, this is my favorite. This is my favorite area or set of zones in the game. I just like the music too much, guys. <laughs> I just like the music too much. And the number of platforms there, the number of platforms is like which tone it is. So it started with one because it was the, you know, the one tone. And then one, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Don't, 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 something like that. Anyways, it's awesome. Cube! Oh, this takes me all the way back. Okay, well, that's fine. Ah, uh, goodbye my favorite area. There's another area that's very similar to this one that I also like a lot. My second favorite area in the game. But we're probably not going to see it today, I think. Maybe, maybe we will see it today. Who knows? Oh yeah, speaking of learning to read... Wait, that doesn't say warp gate. There's two of the same letter on it. What the heck? Interesting. Oh wait, let's go here. 
Bell Tower. Okay, we've been we've not been here before. Let's start off by checking the bottom area, shall we? Oh, this is it. This is my second favorite area. I bet this is super fucked up on the stream, isn't it? I can't it probably can't encode and handle this. This is the ultimate glitched out area. <laughs> and like all the blocks in this area are from other areas in the game. stream started lagging <laughs> i mean i have constant bitrate so it sh shouldn't but you know i understand where am i supposed to go next oh right over here ah there we go i'm sorry for anyone who's about to have a seizure right now even i feel like i'm about to have a seizure yeah, this is like the kind of room that you can only do one of in a game. And they really only do one of this room in this game. Toaster, what happened? This is just the glitch room. This is the one ultimate glitch room in the game. I like the music in this area too, because the music really sounds like everything is going to shit, which it is, you know. We're almost out, guys. Okay, we made it. Cube. It's okay, we can leave, we can leave, we can leave, we're done. <laughs> the first time I went in that room, I was like, holy shit, this is a room. 13 plus 14 is 27. Sorry, trans, you also make flash edits anyways, lol. <laughs> I haven't been here yet either. There are many rooms in this game, but that one was my favorite. What is this room again? There's a secret in here? Oh, I'm pretty sure this is like the impossible. No, it's not. Nope. Uh, we can't do that room yet. I know for sure we can't do that room. I know what is needed to be able to do it. <laughs> Definitely my least favorite room, unfortunate. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's still something to do here. Where's the end? I felt like I was going to hurl. To be quite honest, my eyes were starting to get a bit tired halfway through that, too. Okay, so here there's... There's something upwards and something downwards as well. Downvote. Well, you can't downvote me. YouTube's remoting, removing downvotes. <laughs> Alright. This room was only revealed to us because we lowered the wire level. Yeah, lowering the wire level in that one place actually lowered the... um, It lowered the water level everywhere in this entire area. We lowered the wire level of the entire world. Whoa, can you feel that? All right, you guys can probably hear a deep buzzing, but can you guys hear that the deep buzzing is left, right, left, right? Can you guys hear the side that the buzzing noises are coming from? Because I actually don't know if the side... Yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're using a mono speaker. Yeah, so you can hear that it goes left, right, right, left, 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 right, 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 right. So all we have to do here is dance. We just gotta dance. We just do what it tells us to do. Okay, left, right, right, left, 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 right, 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 right. 
And that's how you get a cube. Easy. Yeah, and also if you're playing with a controller, if you're playing with a controller, it will vibrate left, right, right, left, 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 right, 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 right as well. So that's another way you can tell if you're playing with a controller that has vibrate. <laughs> that was like next level ASMR right there too. It's kind of like purring ASMR, except not really. Except the game is purring at you. What a, what the fuck am I saying? Man, I wish they made Fest 2. Yeah, it's really unfortunate that the that um, Phil Fish got cancelled off the internet. Like, we're never gonna see... We're really never gonna see um, Fest 2 because of that, you know? There's a lot of locked doors around here. In fact, both of these areas that I haven't visited are because of locked doors. This one... Right? No, this that's not a locked door. I just never found it. There's also a secret here. Oh, I need to be able to look in 3D for this secret. Never mind. All right, let's just go to the top of this. So the game is a cat. No, it's a fish. The guy's name is Phil Fish. It's a fish. All right, let's climb to the top of this thing again. Go faster. God damn it. Up, up. Nope. Getting cancelled in everyday struggle. To be honest, the fact that he wasn't able to like... Like handle the criticism and the fact that he said cringe stuff in the first place are kind of his own fault. Like he just was not a person who was built to handle that kind of stuff, you know? Imagine like if every single time someone said shit about my chart on the internet, I went on like a two-page rant and got like super mad at them. Like, I would not have a good reputation if I did that. It's kind of the same idea. Philfish was kind of like that. Like, he couldn't handle criticism on the internet. And that, I think, is kind of a personal flaw of sorts. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a door down here. Yeah, all right, let's go here. Which room is this? Okay, it's an owl, a spooky owl. We can go up here. Toaster, do you, even though I've learned from most of the stream, I need to go to sleep. Have a good, have a nice game at night. Thank you. Good night, Davi. He was built different and I hate it. <laughs> I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, nothing. Look, the room's already gold. This room's just here to taunt me. Seriously? <laughs> okay, there's a locked door here with another room there. Perhaps... No, I want- I really want to use my key on this. I want to use my key on that, so I'm not going to open that door. Let's go back to... Let's go back to the hub. Ugh. Are you planning for 100% completion? I've already 100- I've already 209% of this game, so... In fact, I think we're pretty close to 100 already, maybe? Because 100% is um, when you get 32 cubes. So let's see if we can at least get to 100% by the end of this stream. I really want to because that's when we learn to look down. But I legitimately got 206% completely off of my own efforts in this game. It's something I'm very proud of. Like, I solved all the puzzles on my own when the game came out. Every puzzle, except for the last one, you know? The impossible, impossible one. I'm at 28, so I need four more cubes. The problem is, how do I get up? Oh, it's over here. I asked my French friend if she likes to play video games, and she said, we. Oui. <laughs> That's ancient. That's my pun for not being told and oh pfft. oh my god please please it took until you said it was a pun for me to understand the pun please please uh, <laughs> you made me look stupid i guess it's my own fault but uh, uh. Is this the way out? No, that goes to the tuner room. We just did that. Oh. Wait, where is the way out then? 
Is it this? Is this door the one that goes to the previous area? We, we indeed. Shush. Shush, you. Alright, um... There's still a lot of stuff to do here, huh? Bell Tower, right, Bell Tower. Let's go back to the Bell Tower. That one's not the Bell Tower. That's the Bell Tower, okay. Toaster surrendered before the pun. My will to live is not very strong today. <laughs> I remember back in my childhood where that Fez hard candy. Fez hard candy? You mean Pez? Feels like I lost 20 IQ just from the last few PAM messages. <laughs> well, you have a special reason to lose IQ from those messages too, right? Oh wait, let's just go in here. What is this? Oh, is this... There's a secret here. Yeah, but... Hello. What? Another door? How many doors can there... Can there be? This has to be the last one, I'm pretty sure. But honestly, I don't even... I don't know what's behind this one. In any case, this one requires 64 cubes to open. That's right. All of the cubes. All of them. Better get a move on. Well, let me tell you what's behind that door. It's the heart cube room. There's actually 69 cubes. Nice. Or no, wait, 67 cubes. There's three super ultra mega secret red cubes. One of them you get in the observatory. Those super secret extra hard cubes, um, they go to that room past the 64 cube door when you, after you get them. Oh wait, that's another full cube. Whoa. Nice. Okay, now we're three away. We're three away from learning how to look down, guys. Ding. It's called Pez. Not Do they not sell Pez anymore, though? I thought they still sold Pez. Anyone want to do a sleep now? Good night, Ink. The hardest choice to card is strongest will. Long day ahead of me tomorrow. I hope... I hope whatever long stay ahead of you stuff you have to do goes well. Yeah, Pez is still around. I don't know why you said it's not. Okay, so this is where knowing how to do math comes in handy. The factory is actually not that far from where I used to live. Oh wow, you live next to a Pez factory? That's cool. Alright guys. I am just going to explain to you guys how math works now in one of the previous rooms we saw a lot of diagrams on the walls showing math okay so i'm just going to draw out what we saw we saw we saw oh my god this is zoomed in so much uh, where's my brush okay so we know that this is zero okay this is one and this is two and then we also know that both this and this are three okay there's also other diagrams out there that shows that this plus this plus this the sum of these three numbers equals this so look at this this is two and this is one right one plus two equals three and it's the top mark and the right mark. And this one also has a top mark and the right mark. So maybe this just means... Wait, you guys can't see it? It's literally right, right there. It's literally right above my head. Oh, the stuff to the right of it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Harl, hold on, hold on. Let me put the whole thing here. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize. Let me get rid of that. 
right? So these three, sorry, these three icons added together equals this icon, right? We know this is one and two, and then this is whatever. And then when you add them together, it becomes this. Okay, but anyways, we know that this is one and this is two, and then this is one and this is two. So maybe if we just add this one and two together, it becomes three, right? And it even makes sense because this down here logically follows, this is one, two, three. So if there's just a downwards mark, then it's three. So if this is one, this is two, you add these two together, it's three. And this is just downwards, so it's three. So what we have here is one plus two plus three and four, right? We have one, two, three, four. And there's a few other diagrams in the math room that you can use to, um, you can, there's a few other diagrams in the, in the math room that you can use to, to verify that this is how the system works. Once you have this realization that the, that the notches are just one, two, three, four, then yeah, this, this is 10, this is 10, right? So that's how you count. That's how you, that's how you learn to count in this game. So now we can, we can change, we can change this. We can take this and we can mark down that we know how to count. Nice. So what we have here in the game right now is we have this bell with marks all over it. Number marks, right? On each side, there are number marks. And we know that this upwards mark is a one. On this side, we know that right is 2 and left is 4, so that's 6. And then, this is up, which is 1, and right, which is 2, so it's 3. And the last one, as Transcendium has already typed out, is 10. And that's how you do math! Interestingly enough, this is the only room in the game where um, where math is like, or learning how to count is aggressively needed to to um, solve the puzzle. I'm pretty sure there are no other puzzles in this game that actually require you to understand the counting system that hard. I guess you learn to count to four and then to add numbers from one to four together. Yes, that's a C. Wait, transcending. You have, you have. You're, you have like perfect tone or something? That's crazy. Perfect pitch, I think, is the term. No, that's not the right room. Oh, how is there... There's another room I haven't found? What? No, I just played the piano a lot. I mean, you probably learn a lot about pitch from playing the piano a lot. Wait. Is there not one more door here somewhere? Am I stupid? There's like, like in the map, there's a whole other area that I didn't find. Oh, was I supposed to jump up those platforms maybe? Go to the top of this thing? But there's nothing at the top. Or maybe there is, and I'm just dumb. Oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm blind. Okay, let's go here. Teleport. Boing. Boing. Oh no, wait. Hi, blind. Okay, I get, I, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. You're allowed to call me blind. I'm. Okay, okay. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, there's a bomb puzzle. Okay, well, I mean, it's not a puzzle. Just pick this up, drop down here, and put it down. Hello. Oh, I guess I just got the piece like that. Okay. Up. 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 
point. I like how this area is just like a normal jumping puzzle. Wait, there's another one behind that? Oh god. You know what? I shouldn't have come up here. I should have done that, this one first. I should have done this room first. Oh no, not another one of these type of puzzles. Okay, so this one is simple. You see how there's these Tetris pieces here, right? This one's an upwards, and then this was like an L piece, and this one's an upwards, and this was an L piece. What we have to do is we have to arrange these four cubes such that they match the patterns shown on the ground. We have They have to match the patterns shown on the ground, um, you know, in the orientation that you're looking. Let me grab this last one and get it up there as well. Okay, so we have all four of our things up here. Okay. Do I remember how to do this? MS Paint. MS Paint. So, this is how... This is how this works. Because we can't see look we can't look down yet, so we're just gonna have to do this through MS Paint. So here's the field from an angle, okay. And if we look at the game, it's like this. This is what we need, right? So we're looking at it from in between these two angles right now. What we need is an L-shaped piece here and a T-shaped piece from here. And then on the ground, there's actually a 3x3 three three grid, I'm pretty sure. A 3x3 three three grid. And when you project... Yeah, it's like perspective sculptures. So you see, the middle one here has to be on the top. But on, from this perspective, it has to be on the right. Or sorry, the middle and then the right. So it's in this row. And it's also in this row that the stacked up one has to be. Yeah? So we put one cube here and then we stack a second cube on top of that. So, um. Oh, wait, that's not what I meant to do. We put one cube here. And then we stack the second one on top, like such. Yeah? And then for the other two rows. We just have to not collide. So we can just like put one here. And put one here. And that should work out. From this side it will look like this. Which is you know. Blah, 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 blah. So many colors. From this side it will look like this. Which is our T. And then from this side it will look like this. Which is our L. Easy. Now all we have to do is somehow manage to do this. <laughs> while being all cursed and stuff. So what we can do first is we can arrange the pieces on one axis correctly. So we know it has to be like that, and then one in the middle, like such. Oh wait, hold on. So this is the one on the right, and from this perspective, it has to be in the middle. Oh, no, not there. That's not the middle. Good night, Alexis. Have a nice bed. Have a nice bed. And then we can work on the next one after that. Come on, get out of the way. Oh my god, they're stacked on top of each other. How do I unstack them? Maybe if I just push it all the way down. <laughs> okay, let me grab this one. So from this perspective, this one has to be in the middle. And then from this perspective, it has to be on the left. So that's correct. Uh-oh. These guys are stacked together in, in a bad way. Ugh, how do I unstack them, please? Okay, there we go. Grab this. Okay, put this here. And then from this perspective, it has to be over here. No! No, why did you do that? Holy shit. I messed up. Uh, uh, 
I have to redo this one now. Don't toter me. Shut up. Okay, put it down gently here. And then on this perspective, we take this and take it to the left side. Ah, take one more cube. And now, jump our way up here. Put this one down here. And from this perspective, we have to fix it from here as well. Wait, that's not correct. That's not correct. This one's supposed to be the middle one. How did I put these incorrectly, huh? Or this one's supposed to be in the middle from this perspective. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to move everything around. Okay, hold on. This one has to be in the middle from this perspective. Yeah, and then this one has to be on the... Well, actually, it doesn't matter for the other two. It doesn't matter for the other two. They can be wherever they want, as long as they do this here. Okay, now we can grab the last one. Uh, let me up! God damn it. Huh. Then, we grab this dude, and we can finally stack it. Right here. Yup. See? And then we do it. Nice. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Miss Paint. We just need one more cube before we can learn to look down. Cube, cube, cube. Oh no, the glitch stuff is here. Okay. I suppose we can just go to the next zone. Cube greater than toter, greater than toaster. Shh. If the cube was so smart, it wouldn't have self-destructed. All right. All right. Toter would have solved that a lot quicker than you. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't have. You know, I've done all these puzzles like four times already, so... I, I don't know what I was getting at with that statement. Oh. Alright. Okay, don't die, Toaster. Don't. Die. Look. Alright, there's nothing else in this area, right? Yeah, that's correct. In we go. What happens if you go into black cube glitches? You just die and then you just respawn two inches away from them. Yeah, it just, they just suck you and you just die. I mean, dying in this game isn't a big deal because you literally just respawn in two seconds, so it's fine. Wait, can I just... Okay. What am I supposed to do here then? I just grab the vines? Yeah, alright. Wait. Oh my god, there's another area after this one. We can do that later. I need to get this dude first. In the middle of the donut donut room. Hello. Okay. Ding. Oh, there's a chest up there too. All right. Wait, how did I teleport down here? Hello? <laughs> um, okay then, I guess. I think what I need to do here is turn this around and jump up this thing and then turn it this way. Yeah, yep, all right. Open this. 
Oh man, another key. Awesome. All right, we got two keys now. I can be more ludicrous in my use of keys. That's not the right word. Judicious, the opposite of judicious, whatever word means I can not have to think as hard about using them. I hope there's not another- oh my god, there's another area after that one? Oh my god, that's annoying. Okay, well, whatever. And now we have a weird infinity symbol looking area. How awesome. Wait a minute. Where do I go next? Oh, right, like this. Hello. Oh, wow, that takes me all the way back to the warp gate. Crazy. Nice shortcut door. Horizontal 8 looking. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one way of describing that. Yeah, so if you jump in this thing, you just die. Ah! Goodbye. Kompa na wa toaster, and what the fuck is that game? This game is awesome. That's what it is. It's a game where you, you switch your perspective and then it like projects it into 2D space. And the 2D projection space is the space where that determines where you can jump as opposed to actual the actual 3D position of things. How? How do I get across this? I guess there's another way to get up there later. Think super liminal but 2D. I mean, it's not super liminal is not about projections from 3D to 2D, so that's not exactly correct. Super liminal is about the projection of 3D objects into 2D spaces. Yeah, super liminal is actually kind of the same thing, to be honest. I think. Wait, how do I make it? up further from here though. Hello? The core concept is similar? Yeah, I suppose. Do these glitches actually block me off? How many? How do I get up this thing? Oh, over. Sh no, no, no. That's not right. I I already went up from here. Cause I can't jump across this. Cause I just get sucked in. <laughs> okay. Just don't hold down the space bar. Thanks. Thanks. Yet another game, and I am a. Yet another day of being a genius. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just so, so hard being me, you know? <laughs> and sending right now is like, how does, how did this guy make charts when he can't even jump? Hello? How do I get you? Uh, I'm sure I'll figure out how to get that guy later. I probably just have to go from a different angle or something. I just wanna jump, jump. I don't want to jump right now. I'm dodging these black holes by the corner right now. Christ, man. Okay, so here's the warp gate. But, oh, I guess that is 32 cubes. You did it. Now you can open that door in the ancient city. All right, so over here, I can grab that by sacrificing myself, of course. And now that's 33 cubes, I guess. XD, Lamal. 
XD Lamau, but I would hate to have to come all the way back to this area, so let's just do the next one first. Keep, keep, keep. Huh? Something is preventing you from changing your perspective in this area. I bet it's this totem looking thing over here. Yeah, that must be it. Wait, I was still missing a bit in the previous area? Are you kidding me? Oh no, I bugged myself. I bugged myself. Hello? Oh my god, that was bugged. Okay, there's a bit... Yeah, that was a bug because I was... I, I, I was... I opened the map during the tutorial thing and the map just wouldn't stick itself back. Yeah, I can re-enter. I came back out here to grab that bit though. No, no, no. That was 100% a bug for sure. Not... It, it, it was not intentional. I've played this game enough to know that that was a bug. Are you kidding me? I just... I just jumped in correctly. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay. All right, now we can go back to that room. I collected the bit that I missed last time. In we go. So this is how it's supposed to look like. <laughs> do, 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 do. So I can't, I can't turn myself in this room. I can't use my perspective turning buttons because the only way to change your perspective in this room is by holding this thing and turning it. And when you turn this thing, it forces the perspective to change with it. It is the perspective totem. Uh -huh. Grab that. All right, there's another room here somewhere. There's also a bit down here. All right, let's grab this. Yeah, so normally you get to freely turn your character, but not in this room. Not in this room. There's a door somewhere around here. That's one big tree interior. No, man, it's just like Maple Story. The insides of trees are just bigger than they are on the outside. All right, let's turn this totem some more. Ah, here it is. Here's the door that we can go through. And that's the only thing left here. Yes. Let's go. Inside the small tree was a big tree, and inside that big tree was... Oh, no. Another puzzle with cubes? Uh. Do I remember how to solve this one? And in that tree, I find Tetris. I do remember how to solve this one. So, um... Here, I'll show you guys. You see how there's these patterns? And this guy ha is pointing to the right, correct? So that means we have to take this cube, which is pointing to the right, and put it in there. This is actually a really simple one. Put that there. Wow, it even tells you on each step that you're doing it correctly. Well, I mean... And it's just the same for the rest of them. I don't need to explain this to you guys. You just slot them in. You just slot them in. And then once you get all four, it's done. So let me put this one here. And then the last one. You know, the last one goes here. Easy. <laughs> And it opens a door. Wonderful! Where am I? <laughs> I'm so deep in. What is this? What's the point of this room? Why couldn't they just give me the cube in the previous room? Instead, they have to show me this fancy room instead. 
I guess they just really wanted to have this pattern of fish heads here, huh? Yeah! And that's it for here. So now we can exit this room inside a room inside a room inside a room. Do 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 do. <laughs> There's so many levels of nesting here. I need to turn this totem around so I can get back out of this area. I think it's from here that I can get out. Yeah, I see the door down there. Oh my god. And then I can take the warp gate. I can take the warp gate. Is there? Did I finish everything around here? Wait. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Take the warp gate. Q1, Toter 4. And we go back to the hub for the forest, the ocean area. Yes. Okay, let's go open the six, the 32 cube door. Uh huh. Over here. Not over here. Wait, what? How do I get out of here again? Right, it's not that one. That's not a level select menu, that's the map. That's the map. <laughs> The map is also a shitty isometric, not shitty, I mean it's on purpose. It's a really cool looking isometric grid. And it shows every area and how they connect to each other. Doesn't it look cool? <laughs> uh, anyways, where we are going now is... This one, I think. Skipping through time. And now we can finally open the 32. Oh, I, I just jumped. Poof. Okay. We can open this now. Um. Oh, yeah. What's going to be behind here? A fully working warp gate. Wow. A working Stargate! Go, Stargate, go! Warm. THX sound! The Mad Men. They worshipped the three-eyed octopus aliens so much that they made a Stargate in order to go back and reach their realm. These jellyfish guys are the ones who gave the square heads the tesseract in order for the square heads to learn about 3D. No, on the top of the pyramid is the owl. Because as we all know, owls are actually at the top of the food chain in this universe. The owls are the only creatures that were able to naturally see 3D. This is the moon. 
See? The Council of Four. You can even see the Council of Four right down here. There's four owls. They are the superior beings of the universe. Alright, Fez, let's go. Oh shit, I went back. Wait, you can go back through the portal? Yeah, because owls can see 360. And there's also less gravity because we're on like the moon or something. Oh, I died. At the top of this area, we'll finally learn the truth. Or not learn the truth. No, that's not how it works. It's because the jellyfish aliens are the ones who created or found the cube, the the hexa key run or whatever it's called in the first place, right? So naturally, we have to go back to their place in order to rebuild it. We're not here to find something. We're here to put something back together. get up there. Ow. I can't believe that counts as dying from fall damage. Uh. Hold on. Do I need to do a longer jump here? Okay. You see, you thought the tentacle aliens were the top of the food chain, but at the end of it all, it's the owls. The owls are the true keepers of all knowledge. And then we ascend. And we can enter. Please. Hold on, I need to carefully orient myself. We can enter the terminal room of this instance of the universe. It's time. We're reconstructing the core of the universe. Well, um, that doesn't seem like quite enough. Come on. I'm, I'm sure you can boot with just half of your hardware. Please. Bro. I gathered half of... Fine, be that way. Be that way. Just, just crash on me. Well, I guess we did... The universe kind of restarted? Eh. Eh, eh. <laughs> I don't. I. I. Nah, I. I didn't. I don't think that worked. It still glitched out. It still glitched out. But I guess we gotta find the other half of the computer. Now nah, we're not back at 0%. I can't even open my menu right now, though. Hmm. I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark.
<laughs> the quality became lower than 240p. What is the universe made of? What is Bez? Of course. I mean, it's all just geometry, isn't it? Everything we know, everything, it's just fields, lines, geometry, not the center of it all. A cube. A cube, which is the processor of the universe. But even then, inside the processor of the universe, what is that made of? Just more geometry, more fields, more cubes. And it keeps going and going and going. But what is a cube but a collection of three dimensions? X, Y, and Z. And yet, we must look even closer and see what a dimension itself is. String. Made of strings. Upon strings. And in those strings, chaos. But the chaos itself is just made of more rudimentary particles. Tetris pieces, the meaning of the universe, movement, energy, because all matter is made of energy. And yet, we must ask, what is energy? But another field. Constructed of strings. And at the end of it all, we return to the answer. The cube, the controller of the universe, the processor. But of course, that too is just a collection of energy. matter let's just party we, we saved the universe right yeah we, yeah, we definitely saved the universe yeah let's party <laughs> yay good job guys we we won fez we won fez Fez just zoned out and imagined all that no fez didn't imagine all that while Fez was ta while while Gomez was taking his drum set upstairs and setting it up, we just did a deep dive into what the universe is made of. No. We saved like half the universe. No, no. I, the, the the hexahedron is still corrupted. We we never f completely fixed it, so you know it's not actually saved. Okay, let's skip this because we still have two things to learn. How to look down and how to read. I don't think we're gonna learn how to read today. So let's just, that's just not gonna happen. But we can still learn how to look down. New game plus. Good morning. I still have all my stuff. Look at that, 17, 17, two. New game plus. Ow. Oh wait, I can't turn. I can't turn left or right. Hold on. I can't press tab either. What's going on? What's going on? I wonder if the old man knows anything. I mean, this is how we started the game last time, right? Hello, geezer. What's up? What's up, geezer? 
Ha! There you are! Today is special day! Adventure is ready! It's Gomez time! Anytime now! Just you. There you go! Um... But, Tetrahedron! I already have the Fez! I already have the Fez! So, what are you going to show me this time, huh? Um, that's very nice. I have no idea what you're saying, though. <laughs> Actually, so each of these symbols corresponds to a letter. And like the thing the cube is actually saying is so funny, but I don't remember what it is. It's something like, uh, hello there, I'm the cube. Am I doing this correctly? Uh, anyways, here's your hat. Or it says something like that. I totally forgot. <laughs> but it's like what the cube says is so funny. Sir, I've already been through this. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me how to turn around. Do I get a second Fez? A second Fez? Oh, never mind. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. Wait, wait, wait. Do I do I have do I have an image of sunglasses? Sungra. Sunglass. I would have to match a lot of things, but wow. <laughs> the game's just trolling us at this point. Wait, where's my sunglasses? <laughs> Press the right alt button to enter first person view. Now we know how to look down. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Man, how many times have we had to restart this god darn universe computer? Like three times already this stream we blew it up at the beginning we blew it up at the end we blew it up again in new game plus that makes it the third time that we've restarted the universe computer god but yeah now we know how to look down now we can look at the floor there's no way to look at the floor until you get the sunglasses <laughs> look at how cursed this is <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, before we end stream, I still do want to show you what the point of being able to look down is. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I need to go to that room first. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one, that's my room. Stream first person win. Okay, here we go. Sorry. So this is another room about counting. So you might notice that there are um, Tetris pieces. There are some Tetris pieces on the walls with numbers attached to them, right? Oh, no, that's my clipboard. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Where, where, where's, where's my mouse cursor? 
Where's my snappy, snappy mouse cursor? So, you know, uh, this this is three with a left, right? And this is six with a rotate left. And this is two with a rotate right. So if we just smash all these things together, if we just like, just write all of them down, the numbers with the symbols that they are. So one, two is rotate right. And then three is press left. And then six is rotate left. Okay. And then let's see here. One, one is up, one is up. And then this one is five, five is right. Five is right. There's one more that's hidden behind the boiler that might be a bit hard to see. It's right there. And that one's number four and it's rotate right. Oh right, and you can I can just use this to look at it, sorry. Sorry, that one's not four. That one's um four that's seven is rotate right. Seven is rotate right. And then what is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, wait, seven? Sorry, three, four, four, five, six. Eight is rotate right, sorry. Eight is rotate right. Then seven, which is on the left side over here, is a downwards piece. So where's four? Where is four? Oh, it's on this wall. Four is a jump. You can't move when you're in first person, so that's one unfortunate thing about it. But I've written down I've written down the sequence of actions with the numbers, and it should be up, rotate right, left, jump, right, rotate left, down, rotate right. Okay, and there's another cube. But but you can solve this entire puzzle just knowing the numbers and the Tetris pieces without using first person view. I only use first person view here because it's slightly easier. I need to show you what first person view is actually used for. First person view, what it's actually used for is around here, I think. I gotta go all the way. All the way. Uh, making my way downtown. Oh my god, this takes forever. Point. Point. Do do do. Takes so long. Oh my god. Okay, finally. There's nothing in that previous room, right? Yeah. Alright, let's also make our way up this set of pillars here. And then... Go... Here. Back to the water area. The seaside. Okay, random corrupted stuff. Which one of these... There's an area we can go to where the thing comes in handy. Ah, that one. There we go. So up until now, we've just been looking at... We've just been looking at, um... These weird purple obelisk things here. But now... But now we know what we can do with them. First person view. And I think... I think if you first person view these, there's something on the ground usually around them. Really? Is there not one around here? Wait a minute. No fucking way. Am I wrong about this? I thought these pillars meant you could first person view and see something. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a. it's a hint to use first person view, but you're supposed to do it here. So you see, there's actually Tetris pieces. There's Tetris pieces on the ground. You have to learn how to look down in order to even see these Tetris pieces. Well, let's just change this. We've learned how to look down. <laughs> You have to look down in order to see these Tetris pieces. So I've just taken a screenshot of this and now we will enter the commands. It was up, 
left, right, up, left, up, right, up. So you guys see what I mean by knowing Tetris pieces? Knowing how to count and knowing how to look down being the three most important things in this game, right? You have to know these those three things in order to um in order to get so many of the cubes. And there's a lot of other things in this game, which is just look down and you will see it. <laughs> when you see it. Oh god. Let me see if I can find one more looking down puzzle and then we'll actually call it a stream because it's been quite a while. I didn't realize how much time I could just spend just derping around in this game, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, the first time I played this game, I figured out all this stuff on my own. It was pretty cool. So, this area, hmm, I wonder... I wonder what's supposed to be here. There's something on the ground. And actually, we've seen this pattern before. It's here. You gotta stand in the thing. You see, this, this map tells you, stand in the thing, stand in the thing without a mark, okay? And then enter that dance, right? So if we look at the ground, we can see that we're supposed to stand there, right? So we can start off by positioning ourselves in one dimension, then positioning ourselves in the other dimension. And if we look down, straight down now, we can see that we're basically standing in the correct place. And now that we are on the correct spot, what we can do is perform the dance. Up, rotate right, up, jump, down, rotate left, up, down. And what happens? The monolith appears. This, my friends, is the unsolved puzzle of Fez. Nobody has ever figured out how to solve the second step of this puzzle legitimately. Nobody has ever figured out how to solve the second step of this puzzle legitimately. And the reason for that is quite simple. Because it's burned off. The second step is burned off. No one knows what to do for the second step. You have to stand, you know, in the second spot and then do a different dance. But no one ever figured out the correct way of figuring out what the dance is. Everyone just brute forced it. But when you do the second dance over here, you get a heart piece. I'm not going to do the second dance here. We're just going to admire the blisk. <laughs> uh. What else is there? Wait, I think I might know another one. I think if we, if we go up here. Yeah, the Night Kingdom. Can you find the second half in another way? There's supposed, supposedly, there is a way to figure out what the second half is, but nobody, nobody ever has figured it out. And I don't think there are enough people left who care about the game to um, solve it properly, so I'm guessing we're never going to get a real answer to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is supposedly a way inside the game. The devs have stated that there is a way in the game to solve it. But due to lack of interest, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Okay, there's one more thing I want to try. I think it's, it was uh, the throne room. Alright, so... I think... What? It's not? I really thought there's something in first person here that would tell you what to do. I'm so confused. Like just entering the just entering the commands isn't enough unless Yeah, like, what are we supposed to do here? Right, 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 left, 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 left. And I've entered that, but nothing happened. Hmm. Is there something behind... Behind the throne that gives another hint?
apparently not. I'm actually really confused by this one. Excuse me? Why does that not work? No, I've already been trying that. The Tetris pieces, it looks like an up, right? So, even if we added in that Tetris piece, it still doesn't work. I already tried adding in the Tetris piece at the top of the throne. Let me see. If we added in that up piece, even then it still didn't work. So it, that would be a, a left. And that didn't do anything. Maybe if I rotate it the other way and I go left, 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 right, 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 and right. Yeah, that didn't work either. Interesting. I'm actually so confounded by that now. It's making me mad. I want to solve this puzzle before I end. <laughs> oh no. The stream never ends because I want to solve the puzzle. I can't just leave it at this. I have another idea. If this idea doesn't work, then we're just going to leave it for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I'm going to go back to... This one, right? I'm gonna go back to the pre pre apocalyptic version of that room. 24 hours. I can't do that, guys. I I, I need I need Toter needs his beauty sleep. Who's Toter? There's that so that was the future version of the throne room, right? There's also a past version of it. Uh, in here, there's a past version of the throne room, back when people were still alive. But what I'm thinking is, I take the code from the future version and enter it into the past version. I don't know why this would work, but, you know, maybe it will. <laughs> also, yes, I know the scaffolding looks like big Tetris pieces, but I'm pretty sure that's not a hint. Okay. Nope, it didn't work. There's also another set of Tetris pieces here, as you guys can see, but they're completely different. Wait a minute. No fucking way, you're supposed to add them together. They're aligned differently. They're aligned differently in the past and, and future versions. We actually have to enter all of them connected. <laughs> it actually worked! Oh my god! Yeah, you have to take you have to take the future one and add the past one and then weave them together and then just enter them. It's just like what I've done in MS Paint. You guys saw this, right? I weaved them together and then I just entered the two of them side by side.
Yeah, I entered I entered this code just now with all the rotating, and that's how you get this cube. Okay, I'm glad we solved that one. I'm glad we solved that one. That was a good one to end the stream on. So, this is Fez. A beautiful game. Like, the thing I love about this game is how cohesive its, um, its visual and audio style are. The puzzles are do get a bit repetitive at some, at some times, but like it's not bad or anything. I just love the visual and audio style. Like, they have this like low un... Like this wireframe aesthetic, you know, but it's like 3D and also 2D voxel at the same time. Like you got this like beautiful th th stuff that looks like it's 2D art, but it's secretly all actually in 3D the whole time. It's always been in 3D and just it just renders down to 2D so beautifully. And despite the fact that most of the game has a pixel aesthetic, there are still some effects every now and then that are not pixel aesthetic, like the gradient of the sky in the background, or like, you know, whenever we get cubes, the shining effect around them is also not that aesthetic. But like the aesthetic of this whole game is just so cohesive. And I love it so much because of that. Yeah. Okay, we're done here as well. What? What is here? All oh, right, that's the thirty-two to sixty-four cube thing. So I think, I think actually, I'll probably. Do another stream of this next week to finish off the game with the more big brain puzzles. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, please come back and watch the second half of the game next week. Yeah, I was actually hoping to be able to finish it this in four hours, but I guess that was too much to ask for, considering that I'm also streaming it, so I talk sometimes as well. And we never even learned how to read. I never found a block of text that I knew how to read in the game. So this has been... Bez. A very, very interesting puzzle game that I love very much. Let me turn off. And I completely forgot that there are actually puzzles in this game that I don't remember how to solve. So yeah, thank you everyone for coming! Oats the toaster! Oats the toaster! I'm a toasty roasty roaster who roasts toast, make toasty roast! In goes bread! I said in goes, why, why are my buttons not working? Wait, did my... Oh my god! You know what happened? My stream deck died when I... My stream deck died when I changed the system time earlier to cheese that other puzzle, I think is what happened. Let me see if I can... In goes bread, out pops toast, covered up by a fez. That's how toaster roasts. Oh, it's a toaster. Oh, it's a toaster. Goodbye, Jesse, Yami, Transcendium, Exhaustion, Fumo Hat, Civilized Pillow, Ray. Bye bye. Thank you all for coming.